Welcome to the show. Welcome back. Hello. Rosada. Rosada. Rosada, shut the fuck up. What do they call it? It's not milk. Rosada. Welcome to the show, everyone. Welcome. Damn. Hi, Brian. Good to have you back with me. Praise be the Lord. I have returned. Yep, yep, yep. Thanks. Welcome to the poorly played stream. Now, we were gone last week, and I hate to have that happen. I hate it. You know what I hate even worse? What? When you come back with a case of that fucking ass voice. Oh, no. <laughs> you, are you all right? <laughs> oh, I hate that. I hate coming back from the con oh, the with the blown voice. out voice. That always happens to me, though. Yep. Uh... <laughs> I just yell a little too much during the panel. I get a little vocal warm up. A little too excited. Before. Yeah, like, um. Like, uh, uh. Piggy, 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 lion. Like that? Vocal warm ups? Something like that? Lily, la, la, la. Good blood, bad blood, good blood, bad blood. Upon a slitted sheet I sit. Lily, la, la, la. That's good, Brian. Damn, dude. I didn't know you were like a vocal coach. I am so fucking that's, uh, happy. that's something they do in news radio. I would love to maybe, you know, think about that. I'm too busy getting yoked before the panel. You know, me and Sean like to get uh, a, a couple push-ups in backstage. I wasn't thinking about the the voice, but I have mm-hmm. to look inward. Oh, yeah. I have to do that. Um, because, I, I yeah. I also recommend it. I, I think also, you know, just talking to all the homies that come hang out at the booth. Yeah. And you're talking over the level of the convention floor, which is pretty, your voice. pretty loud. Yeah. And, and it's it's five days 
10 hour days of that. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it is kind of, it does make sense why I always fucking lose my voice by the it, end of a convention. Especially if you haven't done it in a while. Um, yes, and I had not, like, yeah, since last would, summer. When I would work retail every November, I'm like, why the fuck every November do I get fucking ass voice? And it's like, oh, it's November. It's fucking the biggest shopping season. You're seeing a higher volume of customers. It ramps up so slow that... You talk so much more. Yeah, Yeah. that you don't really realize how busy it is until, like, after. And then you're like, wow, there's not... I'm not constantly tending to somebody and doing some shit. So, yeah, man, when, when November would hit, it would be that. It'd be talking louder and consistently all... Day. All day long, oh. all day, that, and so that's I'd what lose it is. My voice for like two weeks. That's what it is. It's like consistently talking and mm-hmm. and uh, staying up late and hanging out and maximizing our time. Uh, we're gonna get to all that happened out at Anime Expo. Yeah, I can't wait to hear. We're gonna get to your Discord calls. The Discord is open. The Twitch chat is here. The Lazy Boy Lounge is on. The wheel is in play. Oh, we love when the wheel's in play. <laughs> Are we enacting the vectors? Oh, yeah. We're still sticking to the two... Vectors handicap? Two spin rule. So we need two calls that want the back spin. Back to back. Now, it doesn't have to be back to back, but it has to just be two before a cancel. Well, yeah. Because you can also call and cancel That's true. a vote. So uh, as soon as we get to two, we will spin. That's true. What we will do right now, though, is jump right back into uh, Revengeance yeah. with my ass oh, voice. Oh, yeah. I, I was uh, on that second file, right? Yes, because um, a lot more, a lot more done on that first one. Well, I was, yeah, I think that, I mean that's my like original game. Yeah, you know, two. What did that say? Two hours of playtime? No. No. I'll hit OK. Maybe it'll show us real quick. Two no, fifty-seven. Two fifty-seven. About three hours. That makes sense. We've no. done about three of these. Yeah, but we do three-hour streams. No, we we've done like two-hour streams. Each one. I don't know. Maybe it's only doing in-game time. I don't know. I, I don't know either. Yeah. But I'm just happy to, to be back doing some Revengeance. I even downloaded this on my Steam Deck. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, very uh, cool. I didn't realize I was doing the Jetstream Sam uh, <clears throat> DLC, though. Watch out. Uh, people are attacking. Shit. Uh, this was just after you walked through the grate, so now you rejoin uh, with your little buddy that you overtook. Yeah, okay. Just to give you context. My buddy and me. How is it like, only we're, two We're hours. in the middle of a mission. Yeah, right? We only did, like, two missions. We didn't I guess we only played we only played two weeks. We've only done two shows of this. Maybe you're right. Yeah, we're taking two thumbnails. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. It's just the third week. It's like when they do a bye week um, in the NFL after the second. That's why I always use that terminology when we miss a day, dude. It's that rare PPS 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 bye week. week. Get the fucking square. Can't get it. Now, again, uh, uh, Mega Six Safarians or PPSers or whatever we call it. What do we call them? Yeah, Mega Six Safarians. Okay, that's it. You know, that's uh, my... That's internet the, soldiers. Internet soldiers, you know, that's the wide branching... Are you wearing socks today? Terminology. Yeah, I'm wearing... Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not down. I'm not a down-ass fool today, though. Right, I got like, the fucking dude, low... I, got, I came in with... Got the ankle gancha, socks. Gancalas right here. So don't fucking... Oh, shit. I'm ready to kick these okay. off you. Okay, careful. I, listen. Careful. You gotta start young. And I think I'm already pretty good at angling this shit. So... Don't come around my house doing naughty things. Or you're gonna be you're gonna be at like okay. grandmother level soon. And motherfucker, I ain't. Did you ever get the uh, wooden spoon in our family? Wooden spoon. I oh I I mean I got it all, bro. Oh yeah. It was I the mean, wooden it was spoon. Whatever was nearby. If it was as the... long as it wasn't metal. <laughs> as long as it wasn't metal. Bro, yeah. I mean, one time. You're getting your ass whooped. I am getting my ass whooped, dude. I'm thinking about my trauma. <laughs> you know. Uh, no, but I, I got the wooden spoon, I got the fly swatter, I got the, um, what was the... I got the belt. The belt, the, 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 the one metal instrument, though, was, I think, just as a tease. It was like, let me pinch you with the, the, the taco tongs from the hot grease, and that shit sizzled, bro. Oh! oh. They didn't, yeah, I did that once with somebody not thinking about how hot that shit is. I think I was like, I was like daring my mom. I was like, I was like egg, egging her on, you know? And she's like, yeah, oh yeah? Psh, oh, hit fuck. me with a taco tongs. Sizzler. Oh, That's fuck. Right. That's I screamed. Funny, dude. <laughs> Beat a kid's ass when they add a, you know, when they add a line. I, I say. screamed. I screamed like a little girl. <laughs> uh, uh, you scarred me! 
Did they? No. I, I just had a little, you know, mark, you know, yeah. like a little red mark. Yeah, I bet you were like a I was all scared. I, I was daring her to do it, and she did that shit. <laughs> and I was sometimes, like, Sometimes, dude. You know, it served me right. You got, real. No, you got to push back sometimes with the kids. I'm not saying, like, honestly hurt them. Like, you know about how oh, dude, hot The 80s is. were wild, too. Don't even get me wrong. Man, I'm just saying, sometimes kids got to know how it feels when, you, when somebody's being a jerk to you, you know? The only way to know is to do it right back to them. <laughs> it works. We'd be great fathers, Brian. Well, I mean, uh, I, it works with my nephew. It's like, well, if you do that to me, I'm going to do it to you. We'll see how you feel. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I mean, I don't fucking kick the kid. I think we'd be, Brian. Anymore. <laughs> anymore. Anymore. You know, after they had that conversation with you. Yeah, they told me I couldn't see him anymore. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I do not kick kids. That's not funny. I, I say Brian and I would be great fathers, <laughs> but then I think back to, yeah, like, you're talking about your nephew. Yeah. Last time I hung out with my nephew, I was trying to teach him how to play Pokemon, and I brought him to tears, so. Yeah. <laughs> I think the rules were just a little yeah, uh, extreme for a 10-year-old. You know what I was about to say? I, 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 I quickly realized that... Um, he just wanted to evolve his Charizard. I was like, sorry, bro, you can't. Yeah, if you're playing certain games with kids... Um, yeah, start try, bending the rules. You or they cry. <laughs> yeah, they just don't get it. You know, They want the thing, and they're not used to not having it. You can explain it to them and then guide them through it, and that could be like the experience where you're like, can I show you through your game, and then I can tell you what to do. But, like, yeah, it's like they're going to want the thing instantly because they just want to see the evolved form. It's like, oh, dude, we got to train this thing. Yeah, for yeah, hours. bro. Like, maybe if you draw enough energy, you can evolve them. I, yeah. I know I know you're holding Charizard in your hand, bro, but you can't just skip over Charmander, you know? That's where you, like, you're like Charmeleon. I mean, you know, you, you get it, you take it back with you that day, and then you grind it all night. This was the fucking card game. Oh, shit. So I was just being like Uncle Garrett plays oh, by the rules, motherfucker. Oh, no, yeah, I ain't going to let you that. evolve this. <laughs> I ain't going to let make you uh, let you evolve this, motherfucker. You know what my favorite thing to do is? But he got he got a little overwhelmed. You know, there's a lot to keep track of. You know, he, I, I, he's way into collecting the cards. Yeah, of course. So he asked me, he's like, yo, let's let's play like how, he, my mom says you know how to actually like play the game let's you know will you show me i was like oh i'd love to oh yeah i guess they were not prepared for like the hour that we were gonna sit down and like build a deck I, okay. <laughs> oh my god Your what sister, am i doing right yeah 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 how the fuck did she not know her brother enough to think that you weren't gonna be like all right so this is how you're getting like the game is played <laughs> well all, I, I i think they don't know i don't think they don't I don't think they know themselves like how complex the actual gameplay is, yeah, which isn't maybe really, but I, I don't know. I feel like an eight-year-old, no, ten-year-old. You're gonna be the guy he goes to, man. Like that's. So like, I got no projectiles. That's gonna be the thing. you like you know. You, I forget how you have to deal with this guy. You have to like run away when he shoots. And, like, when he's definitely running. hide over here. Oh, I can. Whoa, I never think, mind. Oh, oh, the missiles. You might have to like attack Hack. back. Sorry, I don't know if you want to attack the back. No, I definitely. Okay. I definitely can't remember. Should yeah. Remember this. Let's I'm just see. kind of reading what the game. Run from that. I feel like there's thing. something with the ninja mode and having to like do the missiles back at him. Oh yeah, deflect the bullets. Let's see. Did I deflect the bombs? Uh, you did, but they blew up. I think I don't know if you're supposed to hit back or climb up. Oh, they blew up on me. Oh, when he does that, I think you can do your counter, which is direction back. Oh, you don't have any charge. Right. I don't have any fucking health or launchers. Like, nada. Gonna have to go to the chat for this one in a sec here. You guys remember this, boss? Hey, boss. Flamethrower up front. That's... Oh, that's the counter I could directionally... Yeah, so when he does that, you would Perry. hold, I think, hold the button back in the same direction. Or in the opposite direction. It's parry and square. Or yeah, it's uh, it's forward and square. I'm going to yeah, die. I think there we so. go. There we go. We're dead. Cut the, oh, cut the shields in blade mode. Thank you. Cut the shields dude. in blade mode. Yeah. See, it's I, been a while. You know what I have been playing? Because I, I got the fever for it out at AX. I jumped back into Yakuza 7, man. Oh, okay. Joined, Seven. joined Ichiban and the crew. Dude, Gotta you, finish that game. You looked fucking huge <laughs> in that picture with Sheeta. I'm bringing oh, my that bicep? Shit up. 
you, I don't know if you fucking purposely... It's good lighting, dude. It's good lighting. Oh, it's good well, lighting, you, bro. You've been, you've, been, you've been doing quite a quite a bit of, of work over these past couple of years. I did, and, and I hadn't, you know, I hadn't hit the, I hadn't hit a gym in a bit because, uh, we were so busy, I thought, like, oh, me and Rocco, Johnny, we're hitting that fucking gym at the hotel for sure. Yeah, but... But it did, there was no that. fucking time, dude. Where's that dude? No. I always forget dude. how extremely Come busy Comic-Con is. Are you kidding me right now, dude? Is this a joke you have to ask me? Are you kidding me right you now? Fucking the lighting huge. is great, but the good part is Hikaru Shida was there. That's what I mean. I Three-time like, women's world champion. She couldn't give a shit about me, bro. Dude. You know, we were we just got in line. The eyes don't lie. Hikaru Shida was very nice to Johnny lie. and I. We told her we were big AEW fans. We love watching. We watch wrestling every week. We love seeing you on AEW. After that photo, Rocco yeah. had to sing karaoke. Oh yeah! In a karaoke contest for. Is that what uh, you For yeah. This is great. For for like a cool trophy and like all this shit. Uh, but he had to sing against Hikarushita and another streamer. Um. Oh shit! I'm hurt. Oh yeah, ninja mode on the shield. I'm doing it and it's not working. Well, it's we like, don't have any ninja juice. Do you have any batteries? Well. No. What was that? Your health. Uh, oh, I do have something. Yeah. I do have something. Yeah, electrolyte. Boom. Boom. Okay. You're gonna dodge? No, I can't uh, ever dodge that. There you go. See how you did it there? Yeah, Boom. but I was. I was doing it before. You, you did mean? the parry too, so you're doing. You did that right. I did. Yeah. She bounced that fucking shield ass back. Not that time. No. It's parry towards, right? Correct. Dude, I've got the fucking itchiest nostril hair. It is driving me insane. Ah. I missed you. I missed. I remember this boss being a bitch, no matter what. I'm out of juice again. Ay ay ay. Okay, hide. Aye, aye, aye. hide behind the wall here. Death by nose itch. <clears throat> Let's go. Recovery electrolyte pack. Recovery. Repair nano paste. Yeah. That's what I want to use. Lots, lots to cover, man. That's so cool. You know, so, PX, there's a new video. So yeah, like uh, this this party we went to where I took that photo with with Sheeta and Johnny. Yeah. That was. Um, I want to say Saturday night of AX, and uh, it was really cool. Uh, our homies, our uh, you know, Angry Bananas, Carlos. Carlos, dude, I fucking love the homie Carlos. He he was working hard, man, and setting this thing up with uh, the rest of his team at Sega, and they put on a great show. It was a it was a separated ticketed event, but it was called the Essence of Fandom, and like not only did the Voice actor for Ichiban come out to America for the first time. Am I not hitting the fucking? There it is. Why isn't it? I don't know. It's like L1, but it wasn't going half the time. L1. Yeah, man. It, it really looked like they. Um, yeah, had... they put some effort into this. Uh, this event. It looked cool. They had the dance floor from the game like zero like recreated oh, yeah. uh they had like all kinds of stuff set up like a arcade game of super hang on mahjong tables like oh. all the shit from the game you could do and then like a bar because it was a, a 21 and up event so they like interviewed the producer and uh itchy bonds voice actor and that went for quite a long time they said like oh here's a mini panel but god it went it went pretty long but then they did the karaoke contest rocco came out uh, fucking killed it. They had yeah. him go first, bro. They didn't um, get him first? They had him go first. Oh, oh. I won't get into, uh, who won, but it's Politics. hard. Let me just say, it's hard to be a three-time women's world champion, brother. Politics. Brother. Uh, Politics, I, we're gonna man. talk about, I think, I think Who's the plan. Mic are you using? The plan right now is to have... A podcast on Friday, I believe. I think I can say that. If not, oh well. But you heard it here first. Unless they already posted it. We'll see when we look at their Twitter. But I think we're going to have a, a, a special AX recap on Friday. So stay tuned. 
stay tuned, everyone. Um, but that was that was that was where I met Cheetah, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah, getting to, getting to see Rocco sing uh, uh, on stage in Japanese. He's very good. You know, he sang all the Ava stuff and oh, yeah. our Ava and Five Minutes stuff in Japanese. He's uh, he did um, what did he do during that live event? He did the full um. Oh man, he killed it too when he was wearing the alien glasses. What do you think? Uh, the first show? I think, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it's gonna kill me now. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but I mean, Rocco singing Japanese has always been very impressive. He takes the time to learn <coughs> to enunciate, so like. When did he sing in the live show? Uh, it, in the first one? On a live stream. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember what he was singing Japanese. But it was like some theme song. Or something. Anyway, I mean, uh, I'm thinking of you know, Earth Crisis actor recently edited our acapella Cruel Angels thesis yeah. to the um, the opening. I know they had some trouble uploading it. Earth Crisis actor got it on uh, Tumblr. I think was the best place for it. <laughs> but that was I, that's the, that's like the most Japanese song I know and I don't know all the words even I can like fake my way through it as I did in that yeah I don't I'm and I can't saying. like I'm trying to think how to start <laughs> uh, I always want to pick it up from mono. but how does it start yeah that's how it starts right yeah. Something Goku. Something, yeah. Something Goku. Something Goku. Yosh. Yosh. I'm trying. I know this was a couple weeks ago, but this I ain't working now. I, I, I think it's badass and fucking. We have to figure out a new strategy because I'm just repeating the same thing over and over again. So a pro strat is needed. Yes. Uh, this is what I remember from like current platinum is like yeah, there's those bosses you just go up against. Let me call um Sigint, and maybe you can look up something for me. Friend, yeah. What were you gonna say though? How do I talk to? Oh no no, who do I talk to here for help? It's not uh, Sigint this time. It's Kevin. Kevin. Damn, that thing's packing some heat. Probably goes without saying. But you need to stick to cover as you approach that bad boy. Does it say what stage it is? Stick to cover. Damn. That thing's packing some heat. Yeah, we know Kev. It goes without saying. What's the chat saying? I'm going to read the full screen. That bad boy. Uh. Yosh. Yosh. Uh, that Essence of Fandom event, though, definitely had me come home and go, like, I need to finish 7 so I can get to oh, yeah. Gaiden and then Infinite Wealth. Yeah. Uh, I really, I really want to push myself to keep playing those. But now I've stopped playing Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Rebuild, Part 2, or whatever. What's it, This thing's called the Grad? Yeah. It's a tough elite version. What's the trick? EM grenades. No. First time... Use ninja run towards the tank to start your attack combo. With heavy sliding. Oh, attack. ninja run is there's. I wasn't even using ninja run before. Okay. Sliding. Start your attack with the heavy sliding attack to push it back, so that it switches to biped form. Once you have the side. Okay. Biped form. Ooh, you son of a bitch. Miss me. Okay, go, that's basically go. it. If you slide at it, it's just slide. Yeah. Now. I gotta remember that parry though. See, that every week, is super helpful. every week I forget how to fucking play this game. <laughs> yeah, it takes you like four weeks, and we took a week off. Shit. This game is not also the most, or also not the most um, intuitive anymore. It has very specific controls. You know, they've they've uh, they definitely changed. The way that, uh, yeah, this yeah. type of game is Dude, played. Dude, can I say, this has nothing to do with Metal Gear, but um, I've been playing Valkyrie Profile. I saw you streaming that today, yeah. And uh, and it's all because you got Len uh, you got the Elysium um, 
game and like I'm like, dude, this is a fucking sick looking game. I want to check this out. It's, all, it's like art styles up my alley. What? Which one are you playing? I'm playing uh, Lennon, the re the PSP remake of the first game right. or port of the first game. Right, dude, that right. game's so fucking fun. Yeah. Like I I haven't found a game in a while that I genuinely and um, Ranty Rose. You would absolutely love this game if you never played it. If, uh, I mean, I, I feel like it's a Randy Rose game through and through. Like, it's fucking high fantasy, Valkyrie, Odin, it's fucking shit. And, I, I like, love the... pixel art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that, like, Nordic mythology stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's... Japanese are obsessed with it. Yeah. Go figure. You know, I... <clears throat> I tie... Straight... I... <laughs> I think back on why are they so obsessed with this, like, Germanic lore. Yeah. And then I remember their buddies during World War II. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, maybe there's a way. reason Japan culturally is kind of, like, way into, like, Nordic mythology. Yeah. I mean, it could just, you know, in the same way that Lord of the Rings is interesting to us, it's just a cool story to them, you know, when you read it. And the Eddas and Sagas. Yeah, yeah, and like how it, you know, what it's also trying to communicate and stuff. I feel like Japanese are really into that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, now you're blocking. Oh, yeah, Ninja Run to block the bullets. Come on, my son. Fuck. Don't wait. Save it. See, he has no, like, health bar. It doesn't look like I'm doing any damage to these feet. Do I just have to get past him and get into this room? So I can get behind him or something? Is that the goal? I can't remember. I don't know. You do have to... See, like, look. This does nothing, right? Am, are you, am I for real on this? This does absolutely nada. Jack shit. Right? That's not doing it. We gotta watch a bid. Okay, well, I hate to say know. it. Wait, which one doesn't have audio that'll play? Is it... Which browser? I can't remember. I think it is that one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I never searched it. Fucking thing. Fucking... Better than ask Jeeves. Uh... Oh, ha, ha. oh. Uh, so if you came out to Anime Expo, uh, do feel free to call us. As soon as we get to this boss, we're going to get to our Discord call. I want to hear about your time. I had a blast. Like I said, uh, the Yakuza party. We'll get to more of that on the next Mega64 podcast. But that was a fun time. Um, I really uh, had a good time at the panel. Blowing my voice out. Uh, had a great time just hanging at the booth and talking to everyone who came by as well. I think the highlight for me, though, Brian. Oh, man. Are you familiar... With that show, Fish Tank? Yeah. Okay. So, I didn't really watch, you know, much uh, other than clips of, you know, maybe some season two and maybe some recent stuff. Because it's, like, going on again. There's, like, season 2.5. It's, like, out in the woods. It's actually really funny. They're playing, like, like role-playing, like Vampire the Masquerade. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh... <clears throat> You know, I I really I really got a kick out of a lot of the stuff that went on in season one. I watched season one probably the most closely out of all of it, and I um, I was really just tickled pink by uh, the winner Josie shouts out and also John Top J himself, and I had I had heard from our friend uh, you know uh, Clover Club, our our cosplayer friend Katie. Yeah. She said, like, yo, I ran into Josie. Like, I saw her on the... This is, like, day one. I was like, oh, I know she was here last year. I didn't know she was, like, a total weave. That's fucking rad. Um, or maybe she's not. I don't know if she's just covering the event. But but whatever. Like, I'd love to, like, run into them. Because cause then uh, I heard, uh, yeah, John was going to be around, too. And, like, on my way to the bathroom on the last day, I turn around. I see John... He's in the middle of some interview. I wait like maybe four or five seconds and they stop. And I'm like, hey, what's up, man? Yeah. Top J, what's going on? He gave me a high five. Nice. And I was like, oh, I was looking to run into you and Josie. He's like, oh, you know, she's right there. Come on by the booth. Gave him both shirts. Nice. I was like, yeah, well, let me know what you want. Take a look, you know. 
Of course, I realize now John took the shirt with the Christian iconography on it. He took the one with the cross and Lilith that uh, uh, Sean's Beautiful. daughter drew. Hey, guys. I, I also love, too, that in a clip he, he posted later that night back at his room, he was, like, showing off his haul, and he's like, check out this shirt. An eight-year-old girl made this shirt for me. <laughs> Beautiful. So, uh, you know, big shouts out. Honestly, highlight highlight of my weekend meeting Josie. Josie was so nice and uh, so cool out there making another video. I really liked her Comic Con, or no, her, her Anime Expo video from last year. Uh, the Furry Con video was really funny too. Um, so I'm excited to see this year's. I think that was like a huge highlight for me. The crossover, oh, awesome. people were like messaging me from all over <laughs> like, yo, you're John just shouted you out on on Josie's live stream or vice versa. I don't know who's, I don't know who was filming what, but both of them were kind of like making content. That's cool, man. For the weekend, but yeah, it was great, man. I mean, seriously, highlight of my weekend. <clears throat> Saw some cool stuff at Anime Expo, but meeting them was uh, was rather special. So it says you're supposed to like. Oh yeah, you watched a video. Do what this, are, yeah, do that. What you were doing. Do that little combo, that the like sliding kick combo. Okay, I'm gonna then, I'm gonna restart so I get full <laughs> full everything. And then yeah, like <coughs> hell, just kind of slash at it. So he does the slide, and is he going riding time? Is he going bullet time? You don't think so? Uh, here. Sliding combo. Oh shit! Didn't block that. Push that thing back. Yeah, hit that thing in the middle. That little, like, node. The node. I think I can stay right here and his shit won't damage me. Yeah. But now I'm out of slice time. Okay, now I'm damaged. Slide in, now you dive. Slide in, and then you do that, like, three hit combo with triangle. Oof, and then you uh, just fucking. Get out in time. Yeah, you just hit that clip. That <laughs> Jump. I got a BMI air. I'm going to go fill up on paste. Got to eat my paste. You can hit anywhere, actually. Recover my paste. But yeah, then you try to do, like, the parry when it, when it attacks. So as you're doing gnashing, and you see it rear back to do the attack, you do the parry. Yeah, combo and parry to push him into the next one. Okay. Uh, is, can you look up t just one more thing for me, Brian? Because I cannot remember what parry is. Is it square or circle? It's uh, square. Oh, wait. Fuck. We did it. Oh, there you did go. Did something. There you okay, go. so it was. We just had to push him into the fucking room. Yeah. Okay. And now this is now he's fight. fucking transformed and we get a final form. Yeah, and it's, uh, you gotta do it all over again. No, it'll give me a save. No, oh, you gotta do it all over again. No way, dude. It'll, it'll give me a checkpoint they gave you a right checkpoint. there, dude. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. <laughs> but I made you think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. You scared the shit out of me, bro. Uh, yeah, so it's shit. forward square Terry. Okay, forward and, square. And it's really apparent when they telegraph it. Like, it'll either flash like that, or you'll see it, see it like, rear. Um, and also lock in so you don't have to deal with this ass camera. Yeah, what the fuck? R3 is it? In this game? Yeah, there he is. Target. Yeah, like that, I think you can carry. Oops, wasted. Miss me. Oh, that shit don't do anything. Oh, he's all turtled up. What an yeah. asshole. I'm gonna stick this thing so far up your butthole. I got no recovery pace, though. That's what's bugging me. Wait, it's up there. Ah! Is that paste? Yeah. Oh, it is. I think he picks them up. There, I just used it. To... Oh, shit. All right, all right. Rules of Nature is playing, I think. Dude, I'm just getting destroyed. There we go, locked in. There, cross it in. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, get those hits. Are we seeing 81% 80? Is that Grad? That's his yeah. name? It's when I start running from him, I kind of get fucked up. Yeah. Don't you have a dash and you're also not using Ninja Run? Or I am trying to use Ninja Run. Oh. That's Whoa. Ninja Run. 
you got those things, you can kind of, when those come, that'd be a good time to cut them. Yeah. Because I think they either go back to him. There I parried. Nice. He's got his fucking forceps up. You might be able Oofa. to. Uh, Fungu. You getting it? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. There was one nano paste on the wall. There's got to be more spread yeah. around the room. Oh yeah. Let's pick all of those up. Farm first. them. As yeah, let's say. get let's farm that out. Big Damn. farm of yeah. it. My throat's getting dry, folks. I need a sip. I need a sip. R2 to target lock. There you go. That's the button target lock. There you go. Oh yeah, because you can attack some joints. Spike Lee. Spike Lee, flick. Ow. Flick the controller. Oofa. Uh. Okay, so it's square. I gotta remember that. Square. There. Hip to B, square. I didn't get it? Nope. Didn't get the parry. Alright. Alright, you son of a bitch. It's hip to hit, square. And parry. There it is. Parry. Didn't quite work there. Use the paste. If you want to parry and attack. Run away and those missiles are they coming Watch back it at on me? You too. Missiles are not coming back at me. Not yet. Got your butthole open. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Bitch ass AT AT. <laughs> He's at 86. It's not great. You got 1% on him. Win. Well, you did. Damn it, I'm thinking that was the parry, but absolutely not. Maybe the red ones are unblocked. Square. There it is. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, no paste? Shit, okay. Let's go farm paste. Oh, shit. Oh, oh god fuck, damn it! Dude. I can't see. Oh shit! I gotta un. Uh, I gotta unlock. How do you unlock? Uh, fuck it. Uh, probably R2 again. Help. I have done it. This is on normal. I do remember this game being tough. Yeah. Square can't avoid that right out the, the fucking bait. Yeah, the direction of the attack's coming, so towards the attack. Yes. So wherever. Did I get that? I did no. not get that. You can also attack us here. There's only two in here? They probably respawn. Yeah. Let's pray. Holy shit! That's fucking stupid. Seriously? Whoa, well, where'd that come that from? Where's the guy? Yeah, where the fuck did that come from? He's just throwing. Motherfucker, you know, throwing ass shit. Throwing giant propane tanks of nuclear waste at me. Oh, what is oh, this? Oh, hey, come on. Trying to win the game here. Come on, Grad. Bullshit. Okay. We're gonna parry. We're gonna be good. Ninja run. Hey. I gotta do that slide. That's what it is. Yeah. Ninja run into the slide, and then it's the mashing. Now it's gonna be parry. Oops, a little late. Hit a paste. Here we go, slide in. Ooh, he missed. Run. Oh, don't, don't show your back. Don't give him your back. He's at 84. I mean, this is just as long as it lasts, right? Square. Good. Square. Good. Good, good, good. Now you got more meter. Square. Yep. Oops. Missed. Now you're getting it. Now we're getting it. Ninja run, slide. Square. Good block. Zandatsu, baby. Oh, I already lost it. You still got some. Until he runs out. 
Yeah, see, parrying is how you get your, your fucking meter, meter. Yeah, that's how you earn the consumable. Yeah. So it's goddamn necessary. Yep. Slide, Once you get the hang of it, oh. Uh, like you are, it becomes a lot easier. Parry, parry. Yeah, thank you for helping me. And uh, looking that up was the necessity that I needed. Get a paste on, just because why not? Shit. Slice, dice, any way you cut it. You missed me on that one, bruh. Ooh, I got paste out of that, too. Because I did slice that missile up, like you were saying. That worked, and it gave me the nano repair. Hell yeah. Oh, we're got the hang of this. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. I dare ya. What's that? Hey. Hey. Desperado. Sorry about your Metal Gear. Bam. Sorry about your bipedal weapon there, bruh. Oh, son of a bitch. Stupid what? ass. I knew I'd seen that guy All right. Before. Let's take Steven a Discord Armstrong. call. I'm feeling, right. I'm feeling I'm feeling saucy. I didn't let it get to me. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. You got to talk to Vector. Vector, how the hell are you? And get this. Uh, well, I mean, after that battle, I, uh, I could be better. <laughs> I'm glad I, I had my game coach here to relearn me a thing or two. Oh, yeah. We had to go to the post I mean, we, all of us in chat were just like, do this, do this, do this. Um, Was any of it correct? A, a, a no. More pointer. None of them were correct. <laughs> no, but it's the poorly played stream, so you're just living up to your namesake. Exactly, exactly. It. Beat it. It's more important to talk about about the Anime Expo recap yeah. and being out in downtown Los Angeles. We got a couple good days of weather. You know, it didn't get hot till the end there, but yeah, you know, tell them the story. That was what was the most important. But how how are you, man? How how's the summer treating you? Know, well, the summer's not treating me too well with these triple digit temps and Oof. a lot of travel. Yeah, and, uh, stuff. We need to hit him first yeah, yeah, hard traveling hard. as well. No, right. No. Yeah, you guys are heading yeah, to yeah, MGS Con. No. When is uh, when's MGS Con? MGS Con is I'm glad you America both said that. It's uh the twentieth, so it's this two Saturdays from now. Uh, Damn. Yeah, looking forward. Yeah. I'm gonna be bumping fists with some of your homies out there. I know Fingers is coming out. Oh yeah. I saw he's uh, he's got his ticket booked. He's, he's getting ready to fly. Looking forward. We play a lot of fingers music and remixes on the poorly played stream. Looking forward to the the rave and the DJ set that night uh, and seeing fingers spin live. Hell yeah. Or maybe he's not spinning. I see he's been using the uh, the Ableton stuff, oh, yeah. like the pads to control the whole set. Fuck yeah. Like, wild stuff. I, I, I'm excited. I am very excited. Yeah, his last uh, his set last year was a huge hit, and so Long Beach. I'm sure uh, he's got like some staples, you know, some meme tracks in there. And, oh yeah, uh, looking forward to seeing the footage. I'm really and, looking uh, forward to hearing. Me? I'm really looking forward to hearing um, the the bitch remix as yeah. it's as it's oh, called. Oh man. <laughs> uh, oh man. I heard that Kojima that said thing. Be there. You heard that? Yeah, bro. Last year, while MGS Con 1 was going on, Hideo was, like, eating fucking In-N-Out Burger at LAX, like, 500 feet away from the hotel room. Yeah. And this year, he landed last week to go see, like, not only the Maxine tra uh, 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 premiere at, at Chinese Theater. Pervert. But uh, it, was a per it was a horny movie. I really liked oh. it, though. I really, I really enjoyed it. Okay. Oh, is that out? I wanted to see that. Maxine, yeah, me and Trish saw it as soon as I got back uh, on Monday. We went to like a matinee and saw that in the morning. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Um, That's nice. sick, bro. Ty West's third in the series. Uh, the but, but But yeah, he, he was here for a bunch of shit in America. I don't know if he's flown back, but it's like he does come every... He comes to fucking... The, the city it's in every year it's held. Mm -hmm. What are the odds? Maybe he's actually 
masterminding the show, and they say it's a fan run event. Yeah, but it's Kojima. But it's Kojima Con, for real. That's what it is, because people are celebrating Death Stranding <laughs> stuff there. Uh -huh. Kojima Con. What if? Okay, oh, the, the 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 person putting this on, oh, uh, so-called, you know, figurehead. Maybe these. Lale Lule Lo or Hold these. On. Let's look this up. Hey, I, I, I'm telling you, dude. MGS Con. Who runs MGS Con? Well, I know I've I've been I've been mm. dealing with some people that I've been dealing with fingers number one, mm. but he could be a cutout. He could be. What? A puppet. I don't know. I'm I'm also aware of the the person putting it on, Amanda. I don't know if that's a code you name. You want some uh, some inside insider intel? Some some exclusive dirt. I just don't know if Kojima is putting this on from like an upper hotel room, but he just can't be there. He can't appear, and he has to kind of like play this from the shadows yeah, and it's run like this a event. Moby Dick Studios situation. It is all because over like because you he can't celebrate Konami property and IP. You know that would be that a conflict a of interest. It's Kojima. Are you, are you making man. a joke right now? I'm just I'm really now you've got me thinking on conspiracy levels. That you, might are... be, you might be right, Vector. I think I think you're right. I think Kojima's behind this. And, oh man. And this is this is I think we've just uncovered. I took kid, Vector. you can't Vector, type that. No, yeah. There's no typing that in. You're onto something here, Vector. Hey guys. I'm starting to rethink. I, didn't I mean say that. We're still Don't going, Vector. Put that I, this evil is on your, me. This is definitely your idea, Vector. We're going with your <laughs> your thesis. Isn't here. this what you called in about? Ain't you guys. <gasps> oh man, you guys are <laughs> Just, just determined to give me an annual. <laughs> no, we will no, be, um, we will be sending your love, and we will be right, sharing right. these conspiracies with everyone at no, uh, here's, MGS here's Con. What I, here's what I heard. Here's sure. uh, some some exclusive info. I I don't know where I got this from, but um, Why can't Konami would like to have a presence at MGS Con because it's their property, and and you know they'd love to to advertise there and, and get people excited or maybe even show, oh. you know, exclusive footage of Delta or, or future Metal Gear projects. That'd be the but place. They, they can't because it is Kojakass Con and there's just, there's too many mm. uh, people from YouTube that have in the past just like been on a, a long ass fuck Konami tirade that... Mm that konami can't really have a presence there uh -huh. uh, and so so konami would absolutely love to be an official sponsor of the show but they can't because of people like young yay and and uh you know hmm. other various assholes you do ninja so, on that toe, right? I, I don't know why the fuck i oh is that how you do it i think that's what it is or well hey yeah, brian knows uh now i hope that changes I, well, I, I would, too, because yeah, yeah. I, I think, made it a point. I think over time, it will change. Yeah, yeah. I made it a point, man, when all that hate around Survive was coming out and mm -hmm. all of the firing of Kojima Productions and everything else, like, when all that was going on, man, I really made it a point not to ever be like, yo, fuck Konami. I think I maybe did once say it on a podcast. Maybe, yeah. About, like, all oh, these jobs that all, you know, because there was some fucked up shit, right? Yeah corporation shit, you know, business decision shit that was like, oh, that's kind of fucking screwed up, you know? Yeah. Kind of unloyal to your employees to do. Yeah, but it just teaches but, uh, you never be loyal but to But man, I wasn't playing the algorithm and making my entire channel devoted to content on basically hating. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting because we are, I think, so far away from it now. It's almost like a memory. It's like we're past Death Stranding. That's about to get a sequel. Yeah, right. Kojima's actually gone on, formed his new thing, and is looking, not, I should say, looking to the past. Konami is also moving forward, and now we're getting remakes. Like, we all we all knew was coming. Uh, it's actually I here disagree. now. I did you, disagree. Did you see he's, he's going back to stealth action? What was that announcement? That Who? Who? Well, just announced last he, year that he's, he's doing another a, a, another stealth, stealth action, game. action game. Okay. But, but I feel I feel like this is not going to be like Metal Gear was a action game in the guise of a stealth action game. I never saw that announcement. Oh, where because the fuck you, was dude, it? when I played Metal Gear the first time through, once I got the machine guns and everything like that, I didn't play it like a stealth action game. It was only until 
subsequent, like after I'd beaten it so many times uh, as a as a fucking action game, did I go? Let me try actually sneaking. Let me try sniping people with the tranquilizer instead of killing everybody. Let me try right. this method of playing it, and then I'm like. This is a yeah, it wasn't until I got good at those games yeah, that I was could like, actually well, do that. Well, what was weird then was, like, this is what we kind of talked about, uh, and Vector, great that you called in for this, with ah, Metal Gear ha having similarities to Resident Evil, server. this is one of those they similarities. Once reason. you when know the flow of the game, it lava. isn't a stealth game anymore. Metal Gear Solid right. 3, the moment I figured out how to use CQC, I did not care about sneaking around. Oh, yeah. The way I play that game <laughs> is I run up to everybody You're a judo in the stage master. <laughs> and I just knock them out, knock them out, knock them out. It doesn't matter if there's 20, because I just run around, they can't hit me anyways, and I have enough rations. Knock them out, knock them out, knock them out. Now I can walk around the stage freely, because once I knock them out, I shoot them in the head with a trank. And it doesn't matter if they hear it, so I take off my suppressor, so I still have my suppressor. You know what I mean? So, like, but that was only after actually being scared at first to try stuff. <laughs> well, tell me again, I though. Back pay good what? gift sub money to see you do that on stream, <laughs> Brian. Yeah, you oh, should play. It. You should play all I the did. way through. I played Metal Gear, I played Metal Gear Solid Three. I dare you. I double I dog I, dare you to I, do that because I, I don't think it's gonna work out for you. That's how I beat the game every time. You just use CQC on every enemy, and they don't kill. They can't well, kill not you. Not bosses. Not bosses. On yeah, bosses, yeah, you, you have bosses. to actually do a boss fight. Yeah. Well, but but the the key of the boss fight is to get close enough to do CQC on. Them. Most of the time. Sometimes, so if you do yeah. get close enough to do it, they're in a stun state, and then you just stand there and go pop 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 pop. There's pop, always pop, like pop, a pop, trick. Pop. Yeah. I, and the speedrunners have been, I think, so cool at showing those tricks to us by uploading uh, their content because. Man, there's some stuff that I've learned from speedrunning videos. It's like, wow, I never would have thought of that. Yeah. But back to the good news, guys. Hold on. Hit, you're, you're hitting me with Kojima's going to direct a new game that's stealth action. This is the first I'm hearing of this. Now, I know I've been away working at this convention all week, but... George. Yeah. What? Yeah, he announced it at, uh, at uh, was it the games uh, summer game games last summer, year summer games fest no game I think awards. that might have been the game awards okay okay he said he i think it's on now, xbox and he's working on a brand new stealth action game and but they, is but it that's all oh, okay i thought the thing on xbox i guess was um maybe i did hear this and i forgot because i thought this the game on xbox was that uh that one that got leaked where the guy's got his shirt off and his reflection of the Sorry, tv man. and it's uh talking about od yeah oh, OD, od overdose Damn. No, that's a that's a separate game. That's a separate game. So hey, so he's yeah, working on Death a few Stranding things. 2, you got OD, and you got an untitled Metal Gear spiritual successor okay. that we know nothing about. This guy looks like Vincent Price. See, I don't think it's gonna be a Metal he Gear. He does spiritual look like Vincent Price, doesn't he? Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hours <laughs> close at hand. So I, I want to give you a pro tip, Garrett, before I forget. Oh please, um, please. I noticed you're using. And I just want to save you some frustration. I know it's the PPS. I need it. I need all the help I can get, bro. I want to save. I want to add years to your life. Do I it. noticed you're using. You're using blade mode as a way. That you're 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 doing way less damage than you could be doing. If I'm just hitting square and, and triangle. It, it feels safe, right? Because you're in that special mode and, and it feels good. But the game will tell you when you're supposed to be in blade mode. Yeah. Either the enemy will glow or, like, there will be a sound effect, which you might not be able to hear because, you know, you're dealing with chat and you're, you know, you're, you're talking over the sound effects. But 100%. But, um, yeah. Yeah, you got to look out for, for cues and it'll tell you when exactly to okay. use blade mode. I'm definitely and, hitting it. To deal damage, you're just, you're barking up the wrong tree. Right, right. I'm hitting it to put it into that slow motion yep. so I can, like, talk to you guys. Yeah, there's a pause. <laughs> okay, and, uh, well, then, then that's cool. I should, yeah, I should. Well, I think it's subconscious, but you have figured that out and pointed it out to yep. me. So I will. <laughs> I hope everyone's enjoying the live also, podcast. I will adapt to, my play, please. Thank you. When you're when you're learning how to parry, what I do, even, even like, yes. when I'm just messing around oh, in this yeah. game, you can, you can mash buttons. Right. So if you mash the stick in the direction of the attack and, yep. and mash square, yep. you'll you'll get more parries than 
than you, you're getting now. Okay, that's pretty much... The game's pretty forgiving. ...how I was getting them. I think... Can we all agree to go mariachi I mean, from now on? That is exactly what I did when I played this game a few years back. It was the <laughs> moment I got mariachi. It's like, listen, there's other stuff in the game. Why? Why? Yeah. Your mustache is crooked! No. Gray Fox suit only. Dude, oh, look, really? Look, anything now, else. Now, don't get me wrong. Once I... At when I played the game the originally, once I bought that suit, nothing I played, I always was in great place. Yeah. Does it give you Every perks, time. too? Uh, Don't yeah. you, you run faster? Each suit and each weapon that you get has a different uh, buff or debuff or something that you can do. Like, the the different swords that you'll pick up throughout the, uh, the game, too, have, like, different skills. Like, you can buy the original HF Blade, right? Yeah. And that one has... Like, um, what is it? It's got a, it, it's, it, that one's very specific. The original. You need a, you need a million bucks to level it up all the yeah. way. But once, once you level up the Fox blade, then you just, everything's a one hit kill. Yeah. Cause it's it like cuts everything through everything is, immediately. Everything is that fucking ninja mode one hit kill. So what I used to do once I got that, cause I realized it, it did that was the strat I would, I would do is ninja run slide kick. Huh. under people it gets them up in the air it automatically triggers ninja mode for me like it gives me that blue flash love to see it and then yeah, as yeah. i'm sliding there it's just like Brr, oh there's the thing square or oh, triangle and then fucking booms and datsu and it was just dude it's like butter it's such a fun fucking game once you get the the rhythm of how it plays and yeah like i it, it seriously is one of my favorite games of this generation we were not even using upgrades for the weapons, so I've boosted those a little. Yeah. Oh, and I definitely need, like... Yeah, fuck, I can't afford that one. Yeah. Fuel and cells. this game's only, like, once you once you beat it and get some of the upgrades, it's like a two-hour game. Right, if right. That. Yeah. So you're meant to play it over and over and over again to get the money that you need to buy everything. Yeah, but, and it's worth it, though. And, uh, it's, it's so, cool. I can't tell you how many times I would start the game from... From beginning, like as early as he could. See, I think I only played this through like you know once and moved on. Oh no, I got everything in this game. I mean, yeah. I didn't get the like platinum or whatever it was at the time, but I I got like all the all the upgrades and things that you could unlock. I got. I love this game. I played the shit on hard. Oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, new new game plus would probably be a little easier. Oh yeah. I mean, I uh, straight up I started on hard. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, son. Uh, it was during that. The PS3 was during my fucking sweaty phase. My sweaty <laughs> phase. Bro, since the summer started, I'm entering my sweaty phase again. Yeah. <laughs> so, actually, the reason why I called, I wanted to, to talk about Metal Gear some more. Yes. Because there are still people that, you know, whenever any new information is released about Delta, you know, people on Twitter will they'll, they'll still complain that because konami isn't willing to acknowledge the director the and and that that goes back to my whole deal with you know attributing the entire success of the series to this one person whereas i feel like delta is like a celebration of all the staff who worked on that game and konami recently did a a hmm. like a press conference kind of thing where they said all the members of the original staff are going to be credited in Delta. Yeah. And I feel like that's, Which means that's the best. Yeah. That, that means Hideo Kojima is going to be yeah. credited. His name's right. just going to obviously not be on the cover of this one. No. It'll be yeah. at the end, like how video games do it now, where it says yeah. original cast. Like after the new cast goes up because they made this game, they go and credit to the original. Stuff. Yeah. And people are mad that that's not just enough. Well, I feel like uh -oh. no, they just they just they're under the misconception that that dude did more than he actually did. And, yeah. And all success should be given to him because he's the director and it's his brainchild. But that's just not how AAA game design works. Okay. You know, you, you have a, a committee of people that suggest ideas, yeah. and and the director's job is mostly to just say, okay, I like that. Let's do that. Yeah. I definitely think it's going to be one of those, like, um, Batman created by Bob King, and no. now they added whoever else created with him, but it used to always be it. And, and, and to this day, in perpetuity, whenever a Batman character, whenever Batman appears in anything, one of the first things you see is Batman created by Bob King. 
Every right. single time. Same with, uh, with Spider-Man and, and crediting Steve Ditko. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for, for a He's long time, the big... Star Marvel Trek. and DC were trying to, to prevent that from happening. Like, they weren't giving credit, and people got up in arms about that. So, I mean, I think that's going to happen with Delta. It'll be like the first thing might, you might see is an original concept and design by Hideo Kojima. Yeah, do you think... I'm curious. Do they put it up front Based in the game? Based on the characters created by Hideo Kojima. Is, it, is his name up front at, like, opening you credits, know, or yeah. is it just end credits? I'm sure his name will be there in the opening credits and in the end credits. But sure. That, yeah. I mean, that's my guess. But nothing's been confirmed yet. And I think that's why they started... This is So here's my theory. Again, I'm giving them a lot more credit than uh, with my theory than I believe they actually will be doing. But right. this is how I would do this if I was behind the marketing. Again, it's called Metal right. Gear Delta. Delta marks the yeah. change when we're talking about mathematics. They are also specifically choosing the undisputed best game in the series to remake and remaster. Um, like They're you not can... remaking MGS1. <laughs> <laughs> Again, but we can, we can all agree that if they're, like, we all may have our favorites, but if there's one to remake... I mean, not, we, yeah, that's they a whole... already remade one, so why remake one again when you can remake the one that everybody knows, That's right? a debate. That's a whole debate, though. So Some I, people love two. I, but that's so. But that's 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 why we, I, we don't we don't talk to those people. They love the story. I, I, I'm, I'm those people. It's because they love the story. But but honestly, I yeah, think, that's why we don't talk to them. I think that the, uh, the 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 trajectory they're going for is it's Metal Gear oh, Solid, A Cab, guys, Eater, Delta, Change. We're gonna from right. here. We're gonna give the you know final credit. Here you go. Thank you, Kojima. Here's the game everybody loved. We'll all be fucking nostalgic. It's never been properly fully HD remade. We'll give you your two little credits from here on out. Boom. It's whatever the new Metal Gear is going to be under Konami's direction. At that point, they might announce some director. But I fucking think it's a Stone Cold Steve Austin WWE situation. What I mean by that is when Stone Cold walked out on WWE because they wanted him to just give up the title to Brock Lesnar with no buildup and no pay-per-view, no fun. He, uh, they never gave anybody the same sort of star status because he was that big for them he was that big of a of a draw so i think konami's trying to be now this is just a game that is developed by konami and there is no like vector is saying star director and you do it with a proper send off metal gear solid 3. and that's again that is my pipe dream that's not my pipe dream that is my giving them more credit to do something that's actually right than than you know than what's probably going to happen. Because again, a corporation needs to make money. So if it's not making money, none of this matters. Artistic, creative, fucking, uh, you know, advertising doesn't fucking matter. Uh oh, guys. Oh, yeah, you better cut should that shit I, off. Do you think I should? Yeah. I don't know, Vector. It's probably up there for a reason, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you're, you're good. Okay. Yeah, you're not okay. going to violate TOS. I don't know. And then uh, you, get a, you get a comment from Kevin whenever you do oh, that. Oh, you have to do it, yeah. You gotta use blade mode. Yes, Tavarich. The one time you should use blade mode and you don't do it. Come on. <laughs> come on, Derek. I mean, that stands to reason here on the beat. <laughs> it does. It does. Uh, now, Shout out to uh, Cyber in chat. He's the homie. What's up, Cyber? Shouts out. Shouts yeah, out. Yeah, I remember Cyber. Oh, I've got Cyber more nor bad guys here. Yeah, fuck them up, dude. Don't fuck them. Lose. I like your dream, Brian, but my, like you said, if it, if it doesn't make money, then it ain't funny. And yeah. true. like Konami owns Metal Gear and it's in their best interest to establish that it is theirs because yep. too many, like, I, I feel like they're trying to phase the old school fans out. That's what I would do. If I was Konami, I would get rid of people like me. <laughs> who, who were there from the beginning. Yep. Yeah. You know, all I want are, are Well, new definitely fans. not market to them. Yeah, that's what yeah, because, Creed did. Right. Because oh, yeah, if you think that. about it, like, it's the it's us old people that remember, like, oh, yeah. remember when, you know, hideous Kojakas game, this, that, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, remember being They need to move away from time. that. Yeah. So they're trying to, like, establish that, hey, we own this. This is ours. We we don't need a rock star developer on the cover, you know, because mm -hmm. otherwise, like, they, the they'll never enough. be able to move forward. 
Yeah. The yeah, name's the enough. Yeah, I, I think that, that would harm them in the long run. I will say, it's interesting. In wrestling, there's a term called going into business for yourself. Right, Brian? Yeah. Yep. It's interesting that certain game developers, I will say, have knocked shit out of the park in their careers so fucking hard. Like Hideo. Like Kamiya. Like uh, all these guys who work for companies. They work for other companies, right? Mm -hmm. But right, they right. just become synonymous because they were the ones who like directed this fucking smash hit that yeah. turned into a giant franchise. And then I think Kojima is one of the best guys to quote unquote go into business for himself. And I bet over time, Konami is just like, we don't like that this guy's doing this. Like they, yeah. he became, he outgrew them. Yeah, it's the WWE thing. It's, yeah, it, it's what it, happened to Stone Cold, and it's what happened with every single one of them. That's why Wrong. you're not supposed. That's why it's it's looked at in wrestling. The term is is not good. It's a bad thing if yeah. you're known as someone who goes into business for themselves. Yeah. Uh, there I am playing the, uh, telling stories and not playing the game. Dude. <laughs> but so what you uh, want to do? You want you want to flick the analog stick in the direction of the enemy? <laughs> <laughs> And just, just, just flick it, it flick it rapidly flick it. while mashing square. You better, then I can't talk about going into business for yourself. Uh, <laughs> uh, inevitably, I don't think the employer wants the employee becoming a household name more so than themselves. No. It's like why they take yeah. your sales book when you leave a sales job. Like, they got those contacts. They don't want you to take the contacts with you. I heard America's getting rid right. of do not competes. That's good. Fuck that kind of shit. Yeah, I, I, I say. Like, you can't tell me I can't go to a competitor right away. Like, fuck you. Are you serious? You're not going to employ me, then if you don't want me to go to a competitor, then you give me money. Like, are you, are you fucking dull? I'm like, no. Hey, Vector, when I do what you tell me, it just fucking all of a sudden works. works. It's crazy, dude. Yeah, oh, man. man. <laughs> you got a good strat. No, again, you got to remember that these, uh... These, These are, are toys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's it too. And if, and if it's not, we're we're in a weird place where these toys have now grown up with us. So there's going to be an adult market for it. Like Vector's saying. But like, they do need and want new fans, younger fans. I mean, that's what everybody needs. If you want to stay alive, you oh can't, hell yeah, your dude. Your fan base is literally going to die out. Literally. Mega sixty four needs new fans, they brother. Did, I mean, uh, yeah, big dogs need new fans. Every uh, Vector needs. New we all need new fans. That's the there fucking you. hardest actually, no. thing That's about not true. what we do. I, I actually, I, I have a, you know those, those bars that are 27 and up? I got yeah. a 27 and up policy on, on huh. all my platforms. So if you're too young, I want you I want you gone. You want, you want oh, them yeah. out. Oh, hit that box, hit that box, baby. Yes. Oh, box, baby, yeah, box, baby. So I tried, yeah. I tried. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I've said that uh, infinite times here, big dogs and on KLVR. I'm like, yo, if you are immature and can't handle conversations like an adult, then politely get the fuck out. Because <laughs> I can't, I can't babysit your, uh, your anxiety. I can't, I can't manage my yeah. issues and your behavior and your response. To right. It's not my Bingo. responsibility to, and I and I and I'd like Nail to be on the motherfucking head. Yes, I, yeah, I'd like Brian. to be considerate of you, and no matter no uncertain terms of I'm saying I don't want to be considerate of you. But what I am saying is that I'm going to have conversations about subject matters and in ways that will probably make you feel uncomfortable because I'm exploring a different thought process, and that's the fun of I think being able to do this. And, do it eloquently rather than just being like that fucking sucks oh i hate it it's so fucking dumb they changed this so i'm mad about it you know if you look at things with the fresh, i've said this a million times just look at things with the fresh eyes of a child and you'll see that child's most of the eyes stuff is meant to be for fun <laughs> look at things with the eyes of a babe yeah man go into the world with wonderment and amazement I think yeah, I think it's yeah. I think it's genuinely the the way that you go in and you enjoy stuff. Cause like look at this, a Metal Gear Pierce would be like, this game is too goofy. Why is riding in a fucking <laughs> sombrero? Metal Gear can't be too goofy. Uh, right, but somebody would be because their version of Metal Gear was was cooler than this. Cause Snake was a badass. Cause when they saw it, they were ten years old. God, Snake was thought, a badass. And dude. they thought Snake was a badass. I dressed up as Hollow. Uh, I dressed up uh, as Snake on Halloween once in like uh, I want to say like ninth or tenth grade. Yeah. 
Nice. I said the, I, I, I mean, like, they're video game characters. They're not spray painted a, a, I spray painted a water gun from the 99 cent store. That's, That's cool as fuck. That, you, you are able to do that. I am not. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> trust me. Hey, man, you know, it <laughs> was... Had the cops called on me? It was, uh, it was different in 1997. No, 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 it wasn't. And I'll tell you why. It's probably because worse. Back in, uh, when Time Crisis 2 came out on PS2. I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, yeah. The, the new GunCon controllers for, for PS2, the GunCon 2s, came out. And in Japan, they were all black. They were oh, badass. Yeah. Yeah. They were sick as fuck. I fuck wanted them yeah. so bad. But when they, when they came to the States... They were all orange. I know. I got an ugly orange Time Cop 2 or whatever. Uh, uh, it had to be. Yeah. Time, time Crisis, Crisis 2 man, I, box set, and it has you, that big old orange fucker. You can straight yeah. up buy. But when Dude. I was in Japan, yes, I smuggled I smuggled some old school gun cons back. Fuck with me. yeah. Nice. <laughs> so yep. Or red and blue. It's so arcade. Bad. The uh, the there was a Resident Evil gun con for because you know um, gun gun survivor in Japan was a gun con game. It was a po controller game yeah. when it came to the U S. Yeah, I remember that. But there were Resident Evil guns. They were gun con uh, ones, but they looked like fucking nine millimeter Berettas. They had wooden stars logo it was like you know third party gun con but oh i i've seen those like on ebay i've, I've never gotten one but oh i thought you had gun con you just reminded I, me not of this one the, not this uh, oh. the Evil stars beretta controller. you, just, no, you, you remember that say what the Resident Evil 4 chainsaw controller oh i have oh, i have two of those for two different <laughs> systems right you uh, want I you said, want ps2 or you want uh the GameCube? i think we no gamecube you're yeah. right yeah Dude, I, well, that was one of those where I was, <laughs> where I knew I fucked up not getting it. I have, uh, I No up. More Heroes toilet paper. <laughs> I have the weirdest game promo stuff. They had some fun ones back in the day, dude. Yeah. They yeah, had man. some fun ones. Yeah. But, Nostalgia. You know, it's now, just taking up space in my, you have to pay for it. my house. Yeah, right. So many game collectibles. We were just talking about that yeah, before man. the show. That's the one thing. I was, I was telling Garrett, game collectibles for me are kind of like my version of tattoos because I can get rid of them after a while. But I don't like them. <laughs> if you don't want them. Yeah. I just never sell any of my shit. Yeah, I just put them in the trash sometimes. Oh, my God. See you later, Solidus. Yeah, those Play Arts Kai are too expensive for me to ever throw away. Oh. You got a couple of them. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, it's coming. It's dusty in here. Yeah, well, it's been a shit. Since anybody's been here. Uh, Vector, anything else while we got you on the phone? I know we're playing one of your more favored Metal Gear games. My all-time favorite. Did uh, did Camille work on this, or did he just produce this as the you know employee over at he Platinum? Had absolutely nothing to do. With this. I don't I don't even know if he was at Platinum at the time. Was he like? It was, but he. Yours. Maybe he's working on Bayonetta or some shit. I don't know. He, he must have been, yeah, Bayonetta 2 or, or 3. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I think, but, I think but, 2, yeah, he was working on that. He wonderful did something before Bayonetta for, uh, for the, the Wii U, I think. I could be wrong, but, um, but he did, he, him and his team didn't touch this game. So. Yeah, Wonderful 101 was the, the Wii U game I was thinking of. That was uh, the one. Yeah, yeah, I never played it. I never hey, got make it. sure to, to cut the cardboard cutout before you move on. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the reminder. I was uh, <laughs> I was a fan of Wonderful 101, but uh, it was it was another tough gimmick playing on the Wii U. I got to say, it was way better on the Switch. Oh, yeah. I got it on the Switch, but I never beat it. It was a cool game. everything, right? Steam Deck, everything. Yeah, I bet you could play that on everything. But the two, Piccolo, you, the two screen you will never see dynamic. me at MGS Con. Ever. <laughs> but anyway. No, no, um, I don't yeah. think. I think they banned them. I, I don't think. Yeah, there's yeah. going to be like a sign at the door with your. Uh, right, no vectors allowed. Yeah, yeah no. Uh, I do vectors. have one last thing to say. It's an image right, of your avatar from YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, say it. <laughs> I, uh, you know, any last words? Here's my last word. Anti-wheel spin. Oh. oh. 
Okay, we hey, never okay. started with anti-spiral energy. That's double double, man. We God. need four calls asking for a fucking spin. Now. This is like Gurren Lagan. Wait, oh, why four? Shit. Why would it just be three? Oh wait, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Slice. Eat shit wheel spin. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Vector. Thank you, Vector. All right, we need. Oh, right. Right. right now. Different outfits. Right now. This one is less revealing. <laughs> No, but Boo. it's sexier. Uh, it's up for debate. Pervert. Uh. This is George. Speaking of perverts, uh, Anime Expo, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a fucking weekend. Again, with the ass voice. Yeah! You, are you alright, Darth Vader? <laughs> it, uh, it's not hurting yet, so I'm feeling okay. Excuse me, glass. You, get, you need a lozenge. I need to get a lozenge. That's the thing. I didn't have a lozenge the whole time I was up there. Some, some, uh, holes. Drinking the coffee helps, but maybe we'll take no another holes. coffee break in a sec. <laughs> coffee does not help. Co yeah, caffeine helps a, a scratchy, dry sh ass voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's go while we're in between fights uh, and in between calls. Let's go take a break, Brian. Get out of here, fucking plant. Hell yeah. Fucking tree ass motherfucker. Get the fuck um, out of here. Let's position Raiden in a sexy place so yes. we can see all of the might of his poncho and sombrero. Nice poncho. Look at the details Ooh. and the sequins. Stitching. This is an expensive... Ranty says ass shot. Okay, Ranty. You get what you there want. You you we'll go. be right back. Oh, God, beautiful. You get a little bit of the nub on the other don't, side, too. <laughs> don't let anybody stare at the nub too it. long. We'll don't be right back. Like uh, hello? Yes. Who's this? I'm calling about the vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, are you all right, Darth yeah. Vader? You are the grandmother. Hello? Hello, you have to call back to you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hear your fucking voice, bitch. <laughs> Hello? You there, Granny? <laughs> you coughing up a fur fucking ball. ball. Granny? Granny? Why don't you go back to hell no, where you came from with that fucking ass voice?
<laughs> what can I say? I got that ass voice. Darth Vader. Uh, that city life is by our friend Moonrunner Gomez. Uh, Raisin Knights. You oh, know, yeah. Andrew and the homie Mario are in Razor Knights. We play their music a lot. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I think, you know, shouts out to the Mega Six Defarians out there who helped out uh, Moon back in the day Runner. with our, our, honey, our homie Moonrunner. <laughs> was holding a GoFundMe. Thank you, guys. I saw the donations. Thank you. Hell yeah, man. Good people out there. I still love playing... Razor Knight stuff. I do too. We don't get hit with the copyright claim. That's, we yep. have the fucking permission, bruh. I was wearing uh, one Same of their shirts. Same with Fingers stuff, dude. I think on Monday I wore one of their shirts on stream. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Oh, oh God. Hit yes. with the nub, as you oh, call it. Oh, yeah, there you go. The, that's the mound. The cod piece was on the probably... Other side. The other side, I call it the mound. That cod piece was probably the most detailed Yeah. I... Uh, a piece that I, I put on the costume that Sean wore. Yeah. For our, Was it nice our getting video. up there in Sean? You know, on Sean. oops. Oops, well, there goes Just that. Just wasted that. Can I <laughs> Can I go back? Can I rewind? Reload. Can I? Re, 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 reload. Damn it. I did not mean to do that. Well, fuck. Yeah. <clears throat> what are we going to do now? All right. Um, where are I actually? I've always thought Sean had a big dick. Out of the, the blue, you just, you thought about that? Well, I mean, we were talking about the cod piece, so I felt like it was you a natural sit segue. You sit bro! Down. Bro! Yeah, uh, you know, he, <laughs> he seems to be happily married. He's, yeah. He's, he's good at procreating. I, I mean, mean, these right? things do lead to the thought process. Bro! I just don't sit around and, like, think about it. You know what I'm saying, Brian? Yeah. That's kind of odd. Well, I mean. Look at this gecko. Remember how tough they were? Oh, shit. Remember what uh, you and Vector were telling me? Yeah. Mash. They mash it. Especially succumb to that. Uh, succumb to the mashing? Yeah. That, that one didn't work. It's honestly, once you once you get the rhythm of it and you start, yeah, then you kind of like, you got to go in on them afterwards. Once you, once you get I'm going to go in on these little fucks. Yeah. You really little good. fuck you. And also, I got to remember too, I equipped, I wonder if I'm using it with other attacks, but I equipped uh, Mistral's like staff. When, oh, did, yeah. when do I get to use it? Oh, look at the oh, strength. Oh, you have to change your main weapon in your L2. Well, it weapon. was, it was, oh. Let's see how it works. A little blockage. Or however you get to that menu on the left. Ha! Yeah. I wasted that. This is what he was saying. Don't do that. Not yeah. necessary. Not necessario. Whenever they flash blue or have <laughs> limbs flashing blue. Oh, shit. Then you can do that. They do a certain number of attacks, and they gotta dump that green goo too. But I never let them get that far. Once I yeah, once I parry them into a corner like that, you can just kind of. Ufa, fangu. I get Italian when I am close to death. I don't, yeah, know. I don't know what that is. Bro. Nope, not a good parry. There it is. Maybe it was one of those things when you were a kid where you were like trying not to cuss in front of your parents. And, and say another word to start with the F? Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, maybe. It was 1996. I'm not going to lie. No. Oh. I think I just... I love Olive Garden so much. I get the... I get the... The Fangul or uh -huh. the Fagioli or the... Uh, the Fajul. What do you call it? Fajul. Oh, he's blue, Brian. My dude. Oh, God. He's in need of a guy, and he's in need of a guy. Okay. Destroyed. Slide. Give you the fucking block. The Terrence Howard chop. Doing math on the fucking view. Uh, boom. Oh, yeah. Throw him through the window. Is Terrence Howard that actor, or is he a director? Yeah, he was the uh, original War Machine. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's got all this crazy, like, uh, the universe figured out. Kind yeah. of pseudoscience sh shit going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you heard interviews and seen clips of him? He's oh, he's man. he's on. He's 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 drank his own Kool Aid, brother. Oh, great. He fell down the rabbit hole. Hell yeah. Maybe he got out. <sighs> it's Maybe funny, dude. In. He I is. He's he's, he's living in the eighth out. dimension, like oh, Buckaroo oh, Bonsai, oh, man. Oh, it's oh, fucking oh, out there. <laughs> I think Hollywood fucks you up, bro. I think you have to be fucked up to be in I, I could only stand five days up there for Anime Expo, and then I was like, get me yeah. out. I, I think you have to be fucked up 
Just like you have to be out. fucked in the head to be a professional wrestler, you have to be fucked in the head to be a college. Bro, I'm I'm double fucked then. Oh yeah, dude. You have the shield that's really starting to piss me off here, bud. You know, you're really starting to tick me off. Bud, the shield business Boom. really starting to piss me off. Slide, slide, cool yeah. ride. Bitch. You're living in the city. That square. Oh, oh, I dude, gotta dude, get it. Where is it? Jesus Can't get it. Couldn't get it. Save it for later. Hit it now. It's like when they gotta get the T-ball out for the kid. Hey, hey. Watch. Watch what what are you what are you saying? Just swinging. What are you just saying? Swinging back and forth and nothing. I need to repair too. That was the only way I could get it. Fucking guy. <laughs> this fucking guy's got some for me. Give it to me, bud. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking uh, saying. Beast. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Come here. It's your fucking you RPG. Go. Rocker propel this sword up your ass. Wah! <laughs> Ah, that's there what I'm saying, go. Brian. See, Perfect. now you're getting the flow. <laughs> the hustle and the flow. Hey, keep hustling. No, <laughs> hustle great, and flow. It got Three Six Mafia a, a, a uh, an Oscar. Emmy? No, an Oscar, not an yeah, uh, award, not nomination. Yeah. They actually a nomination won. and award. Jesus Christ, Three Six Mafia. Yep. has a fucking Oscar. Keep hustling, keep flowing. Slob on my knob, song. like corn I on the cob. Yeah, the Check very same. With me. And do your job. Uh -huh. Juicy is my name. Sex is my game. Yep. Way too fast. Also, never forget that Juicy J is Juicy J is a god, man. Two tracks of Justin Timberlake's Future Sex Love Sound. Yo, he works with Miley Cyrus on her new shit, or her, like, four-year-old shit, but he was doing stuff with, um... Yeah, Juicy J is like prolific. He Motherfucker weird. works a lot. Listen, you can say no to drugs, but Juicy J can't. Yeah, he can't. He just think can't. about that all the time. Uh, <clears throat> what a great line. Like, he worked with Krayshawn, remember that? I just love him. He's so fucking funny. You know, he's up in the sky two weeks later. He's Jay's on my feet. Jay's on my feet. Man, I gotta, I gotta get back feet. in the 3-6. It's been, so good it's like been a me. long time. Old studio. That's like warehouse studio. Yeah, I never fucked with him. I mean, we would just play them all the time. I would just Derek play Juicy... Would like, I would just fuck with Juicy J's solo sh yeah. mixtapes. Because he was doing like... You know, around the time I was getting into the, the Dat Piff downloads, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was putting shit up on there with like Lil B. Lil B, Lil Boss finds motherfucker alive. Yeah. You know it. Oh, I'll yeah, take dude. that barrel. I'll take that God, drum. I love... I love we're gonna do it. You know what? Tomorrow on KLBR, what we're are we watching doing? this live. We're doing video happy hour. Um, you know, trying to fund a wedding. Uh, don't don't forget. I'm trying. I'm, I'm getting married. My Brian is now getting your hitched. financial responsibilities. <laughs> yes. So please pay for my wedding on my stream. You know, I figure. What you know, it's one of those things where it's like if everybody's using Does that TVs work? in baseball, why am I not using them? Uh, oh, so yeah. Okay. Hey, if you guys want to donate to pay for my wedding. <laughs> A performance you enhancing. Uh, but we're going to do a tribute to Lil B uh, tomorrow. I'm going to play Lil B videos or request that you guys play Lil B videos uh, okay. for Video Happy Hour after we watch Lost. Video Happy Hour consists of your uh, audience donating yeah. to request certain videos on... Where do you guys find stuff? On YouTube? Anywhere, dude. Oh, like, nice. So, like, the, normally I'm playing music because I'm playing a game, but on Thursday nights, I... That's I got tired Specific. of playing games, and I wanted to do something more interactive with with the ch with chat, you know, like because I love having the people there and seeing what people are into. Again, it's kind of like what we do here, where we talk about art, music, games, and like we share Ooh. a conversation with uh, people like Vector and get different per uh, perspectives. Like many games I've downloaded uh, or played in the past few years have been recommendations from people like Evil Dude. Um, try the or Vector. Arm. Whoa. Like, playing Dino Crisis uh, was uh, heavily based on Vector saying how much they liked it. I'm like, let me see what kind of games Vector really liked. And try to see what they like about it. That's a hard game, too. It was fun. Dino Crisis 2 was you Gotta fun. take Regina. Regina? How do you say Dude, your once, name? Once you get into... Is it the oh, Canadian? I, yeah. Pronunciation or the American? I don't know. But once you get into the flow of the game, dude, it's really fucking fun. I had such a blast playing that game. Um, and it's nice, to, uh, you know, recently I've been playing a lot of these PlayStation games because I never played them. I didn't have a PlayStation. You know, aside from, like, Resident Evil and Resident Evil 2, I didn't play a lot of, like, PS1 games. And, and, and I've been playing games from that era 
There's a lot of fucking good games on PlayStation. I mean, I've always been like such a Sony fan, but there was an era where you didn't have what PS2. Uh, I had a PS2. That's when I got a when I got a Sony device. Oh, okay. PlayStation, I kind of well, oh, never PS1. I yeah, see. Yeah, I never I had see. a PS1. I, I played Silent Hill, and then I played uh, the N64 versions of Resident Evil. Um, but yeah, I never, I never really got into the library of PS1 games. I watched friends play their RPGs, and I knew that like, you know, Final Fantasy was FF7. Out. Yeah. Yeah, but that like, was hard to avoid. A lot of the games like Valkyrie Profile, or um, you know, I played like Siphon Filter and Tenchu at people's houses, but I never owned them. You know, yeah. It's a big deal when you're younger. So now I'm getting to play them, and what I'm finding, and this is kind of the uh -oh, coolest thing boss about fight. it, is that they kind of oh, no, did what Nintendo did. They started off with these well, the, games. Sega does what Nintendo don't. Well, PlayStation well, did something similar. Well, PlayStation created a brand of gaming icons, just like Nintendo. Did. You know? Oh, like, I see. While Nintendo stuck to one specific type of device, a, a game playing device. The other systems went off and tried to do more things. Entertainment devices. And, and Sony By has arms. the right to do that because it's got a giant infrastructure for it. Nintendo, they stuck to what they're good at. They make games. And they make the console for it, but they've also had these great name, uh, you know, uh, household names. Mario, Donkey Kong, Zelda, Samus, you know, like, or Metroid. Kirby. Uh, Kirby. Yeah. Uh, now Splatoon. Fucking Pokemon. Pokemon. And so, uh, again, the point I'm making is now Sony has done that since the PS5. They made games that were actually good game mechanics. Sure, it was 32-bit. Maybe it didn't look as great as the N64. But they had games with solid game mechanics on it. And as a result, they actually kept forth a lot of the pixel art a lot longer than N64 did. N64 really jumped straight into 3D and committed to, like, we're doing things in the 3D era. And it really, people don't give it credit for in the console market. I think it jacket. really shifted people towards 3D. Sega tried to do it, but Sega didn't nail their execution of it. And they had this weird structured, like, three system release. Anyway, it's just really interesting to kind of, like, look back at it now and play these games that yeah. actually are fun. You know, like, like they may not look like the greatest, but the, the gameplay holds up 24 years later, 30. 30 years later. I think that about most of the time I pop a like a Dreamcast or a N64 yeah, game dude. on because those were the consoles I never had until I kind of like was an adult and collected them in the used market uh, but yeah growing up like when they were new like yeah never touched anything on Dreamcast always yeah. dreamed about it so it's like whenever I pick up a classic Dreamcast game and play it oh I'm always in awe it's like ooh oh. this is fucking this is brand new to me. Those games are max fun. Like there, there, there are some clunky Crazy ads. Taxi Oops. and uh, they, they are, they are, they are Choo Choo, uh, they Choo, -choo are Rock. What, no, Choo Choo Hero. They were the true Choo Choo Rocket rival of Nintendo. Another company that wanted to do one thing and one thing only: make games. You know, and and they wanted to have the hardware to do it. And that's where they were at. And that's why when it was either go completely under or make games for all consoles, they made games for all Sega consoles. Sega did. Sega did. Yeah. I miss the Dreamcast. I miss the Sega Vision. But thank God the what Wizards. What a cool dude. Sega TV for a while there yeah, was, like, dude. so cool. Uh, Sega Channel? Yeah, Sega Channel was oh, legit. Oh, man. I never had that, but my friends who did, I was like, this Dude, and the Dreamcast was a fucking, like, free <laughs> internet browser. <laughs> yeah, it had, had on Windows your TV. on it. And, yeah. and, yeah, you could get the stupid fucking um, uh, keyboard and plug oh, how it could in. I stealthily? Uh, but, you know, it lives on in, um, in the Yakuza world, which is beautiful, and Super Monkey Ball. And Sega hasn't lost their charm, too. Like, Sonic's... Speaking of charm, yeah. To but, what he is, you know, and that's great. I mean, that's what uh, we were talking about, outgrowing your audience. Sonic's oh, a great hit uh, the, the button. Buck, bro. Because he can oh, still get his core. Well, you could have. Oh. Yeah, when it goes like that and it stops, you can... You it, can makes me, it wants me to go mode. into blade mode? Oh, okay. Yeah, you can then get the button. I mean... Or the little fucking... It doesn't matter. Since I've been back from AX and, and all jazzed up to, to finish my story, I looked, I was like 38 hours into Yakuza 7. Right? Hell yeah! So, like, I'm at this point where uh, I just got out of this huge boss...
girl and like a dude with like white hair and he has two guns. Mm -hmm. I don't know the the Korean gang, the spider Korean for spider web. What is it? Luku Kumang. So I cannot. I don't know. Everyone's name in that game franchise is always <laughs> it's so realistically a foreign name. Yeah. That as an a fucking American from the public school system, oh, I cannot I like remember any yeah. of these characters. I remember their, like, nicknames and shit, you know? <coughs> Kiryu. I could never remember his name when I was talking about the character, so I would just call him, oh, you know, the dragon. The dragon oh, yeah. Dojima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, now it, there's a second one, though, and it's like, well, Ichiban is, like, his nickname. Like, Ichiban yeah. is his first name, but Kus Kus Kusanagi? What's his? I don't know. Kusaga? I, I don't... They call him by his proper name, too, but I don't know which. Kusaga? Is that what it is? Kasuga? <laughs> Kasuga? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't I haven't played it. I know Namba. Oh, I just got the big reveal. Did you play? Oh, you didn't. I just got the big reveal that Namba dropped after this big boss fight with that uh, that Korean uh, uh, gang. Mm. Namba is not who he said he was. Oh, 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 oh. big reveal. That's why I was kind of late getting here, Brian. I was like stuck bo uh, in a boss fight in Yakuza Seven. But I'm going to jump in uh, to Gaiden next. I had a code for eight. So I want to get cool. physical versions of those games, though. Because I have, like, I have, like, four, five, six, and seven physical. And zero. I can't. I can't. Oh, I, I missed. Honestly, those games are a treat. They are a trip to Japan. I think I have some Kiwamis, too. Um, yeah, no, we, I just, uh, we I all got the original bundle, I think. Yeah, I've started uh, so many Yakuza games and just never finished. I've gotten the furthest in six, but I'm about to get as far as I was in six and seven. Nice. Uh, so it makes me think I want to go back and play six, too, because then it's like, okay, get, like, the modern Kiryu story and the new character and then the crossover game Gaiden and then the newest release. Oh. That was wild, right? Yeah, I didn't know you could fall off. The I did not either. I don't. I wonder if it would have. I don't it know. Been a, I think it would have been the pitfall. Oh, uh, mm. I hate that for me. These fucking airplanes, man, or these birds. Fucking birds, man. Come here. Gotta jump to your ass. You make it so fucking hard. Come on, Robocop. Are you fucking gonna die or what? Yeah, give me it. Give it to me. Hell yeah. He takes goods. Take that, Murphy. <clears throat> Alright, we got more calls. Who should we talk to? Ken has been patient. Ken, already. did you come out to Anime Expo? They, I think we're the first person Ken, to I did not. Do come you out to like Anime Expo. Metal Gear Solid? How you doing, Ken? I love Metal Gear Solid. Oh, good to hear it. Good. <laughs> Well, uh, Garrett, I wanted to thank you for retweeting some of the art I drew earlier today. Oh, who? Now, fill me in. Who are you on Twitter? Yeah, on Twitter, I'm at Detective X. I drew that picture of Dr. Pock. Oh. Picture of Dr. Pock. Brian's going to my Twitter this right one? now. Oh, yeah. I thought, I thought this was so fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. was dope. You picked up the Master Collection recently, correct? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it was my was first time seeing before. versions one through three. Oh, nice. Awesome. Wow, man. so this is your first time at like watching any of the series for Mega Sixty Four. Have you have you already been watching Mega Sixty Four outside of that? Oh yeah, I mean I've been watching since before YouTube. Public skits, but okay. just never in the context. Yeah. You never seen right, the actual right. awesome. full episodes. Before like four point one basically, okay. right? Because I wanted to know yeah, if just... it was like Holy shit. Completely blank to the, you know, like you've seen the streams and you come into the streams, but you're uh, blind to the sense of humor. You know what I mean? Like, I, No, no, I mean, I've been watching the podcast for forever. So oh, I've hell been, yeah. Cool. Well, know, thank you for I picking up the seen... Master Collection. I sold oh, yeah. quite yeah, a bit of those at Anime Expo. So yeah. I'm so stoked that those are getting in people's hands because that's seriously like one of the most comprehensive releases you know, we really love physical media here. Oh, yeah. I mean, above all else. So before shirts even, I think we sold DVDs. 
Oh yeah, you know? that was one of the coolest yeah. things about Mega 64 was that they actually printed a DVD every year at Comic Con. Oh, those were the days. It was something I always wanted, and like people would like remember they would be like, oh, I gotta buy like eight. You know, I gotta, like, I gotta send them back to the, the members of the forum. The forum days, yeah. People coming by like, oh, I gotta buy fifty. I gotta buy them for Killer DLS and Corey and fucking Doctor Ryan and whoever. It'd be great. But anyway, so I, this I is watched... really awesome, dude. Yeah, what do you think of uh, the versions? You, you finished watching all three, and I, yeah, I, I mean, assume Revengeance is also on there. Or Re Re yeah, Re Re Revenge Erection. Re yeah. Revenge Erection. Yeah. Whatever it's called. <laughs> California. Uh, I'm not. I'm not that much young, or not that much uh, younger than you guys, so it was kind of a time capsule of that era. Oh wow! That I, I remember bet. so vividly, right? Oh, yeah. Of being in. For me, it would be like late middle school into high school, and it was just awesome to kind of see the styles of everyone is wearing again. And <laughs> really what band shirts like, Sean has on? Exactly. Yeah, uh -huh. it was so cool. And then I I listened to the 2023 commentary for everything. Ooh, okay. And. You guys are being like way too apologetic for yourselves. You guys made awesome stuff, and it still stands up. <laughs> I think we just have like uh, you know such high standards for what we can make now, what we could produce. Right. So you know, yeah, we were hard on ourselves during that commentary. Yeah. I mean, it's also the first time we had seen that. I think we talk about that a lot in the commentary tracks. But like, man, we hadn't seen this in years, and oh, some of this is rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, some of it it's was... embarrassing too. Yeah, but then the other part of it was that a bunch of kids from high school made this. Yeah, true. And and, not, and it was and comprehensive, and it told a story, and, and they got better. The, it definitely got better. <laughs> you can see when, they're, like in version two, there's a huge. It's one of my favorite things. There's a huge quality increase, not just in terms of okay, the cameras got better, you got you know some money from doing it, so you reinvested and bought a camera. That was nice. No, you, there was like you also bought lighting. You guys were starting to experiment with. Uh, with different types of uh, shots and lighting styles, and then like making or buying cranes or dollies and shit like that. Like we we really started to try to make a cinematic quality with what we had, and that uh, I mean I, w I was only there you know for some of the stuff. In some sure, of sure. In school, but like it really was like working in a workshop, like trying to make just learning shit as we happen. went along. And that's how you, I realize that's how, like, oh, that's just on. experience. Every job is you just kind of use your knowledge to get the end result and you get your point across. And when you're 20, you know, that that's such a great time to have that uh, sandbox and such a great reception because back then it was so, you know, so, Give like, tight-knit with, with all the groups and the, all the forums and stuff like that. It was, it was really cool to, to be able to, like, put something out there to an audience that was so receptive and still is 20 years later. It's it's and great to have have you, you know, give us that feedback and and yeah, I'm glad you had a good time watching it. And you guys were talking about the release of version 4.1 yeah. and how maybe you wouldn't do like a free YouTube release again. Mm -hmm. But going into watching 4.1 literally the night after finishing version 3 for the first time yeah it's such a different experience you don't even think of it as like this separate movie it's just like another two episodes of the show that you get to watch yeah oh. which which i think like you know coming from someone who'd been waiting for that for 10 years oh yeah that was like awesome it's just more episodes of the show i think they yep. were relieved but it, it did also maybe for you kind of at first walk that line of like, oh, this is a cool movie. I'd love to learn more about these characters. It's cool hearing how you saw it in the, you know, opposite, uh, uh, or I guess out of timeline order. Yeah. Right, yeah. I saw 4.1 the day you guys put it up, which was what, Christmas Eve? Yeah. Yeah, so did I. Or something like that, yeah. And I watched it and I liked it, and then I was like, where can I get the rest of these I need to versions? Watch it yeah, forever they were out of print, the DVDs, and then we found a solution finally by putting them on our Patreon, mm. which you can still see uh, if you're on our, like, second tier Patreon. There's digital versions of all our episodes of version 1, 2, and 3 of Mega64, and 4.1, um, if you prefer to stream. But I, I gotta say, that Master Collection is, like, one of the finest pieces of... Uh, 
yeah. physical media we've put out and the art and the box and the slip case and everything is great. First time we've been signing them out at Anime Expo and they're really good for signing too, like the way that the slip case is designed. Oh, good. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. It comes out pretty sharp if you got us all. So you got to come out to San Diego Comic Con in a couple weeks. Get the full I don't know. <laughs> signature set. Yeah, maybe maybe you I can't make it. There. Maybe yeah, you can't make it, evil but... dude. It's hard, well, man. I just wanted to... I just want to give you guys some feedback on that. I loved it. Uh, yeah, that's good to hear. Keep on keeping on, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I'd love Thank to hear you, from you, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. You guys have a great night. All right, peace Later. out. Later. Great. It was fun. No, again, it's... Uh... So no wheel spin to, to, to start working forward because we need three of them there. I thought Evil Dude was going to hit us. I know. It's all right. Well, Evil, Evil Dude's still in the call. Calling Q. It's too oh, no, late. You get to ask... Uh, Detective X. What's that? Oh, probably for a wheel spin. Were we talking to? Well, that's who. Oh, is. gotcha. <laughs> you gotta get there fast. See? <laughs> I was waiting on it, but I didn't remind you on purpose. Yep. We're making good headway in the game, though, this time. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's easy to see in this tunnel. There is a major <laughs> You know, I was... Gorillas. Oh, shit. <clears throat> These fucking gorillas. Man, this game really was good. It really, really, really was. Is, still. Yeah, I mean... Just gotta, gotta have that trick, like all Platinum games. You gotta know the trick. Lock on, please. Just R2. fucking... There we go. Ah. Wiggle the stick. Don't wiggle the stick. Okay, we're wiggling sticks. Give me that fucking arm with your drop kick bullshit. Yeah, how do you like that now? Motherfucker. You dare cannot be real. Fucking <laughs> drag you when you die. Holy shit. I'm supposed to be stronger than this. You are. Dumbass. How far back is that gonna reset me? Do I have to pick up uh, I don't all know. this? I, mean, I had hella collectibles, I dude. All right, well. Ooh, there you go. It actually started me where I needed to go now instead of just jerking me around back there. Whatever, dude. Oh, Ow. fuck. All right. There's that parry. There it is. He's hitting me with this bullshit. Look at all your bros. Slice these guys the fuck up. Oh, I can't get them. Don't I have like a grenade? Grenade. I got the rocket launcher. Oh yeah, Vector said don't do this. But how do oh. I shoot the goddamn grenade? Up on the D-pad turns on night vision goggles. Oh, for real? Yeah. It just said like find your way through the muck, and I didn't even. <laughs> I know. I mean, hey, this whole time hey. I've, been, I've been playing fucking. Uh, it just does a scan though. Maybe I'm not in a fight. It um, it stays on. I, I've been playing Valkyrie Profile not knowing there's a goddamn map. <laughs> this whole fucking time I didn't know. And then I hit R1 today and I'm like, there's a fucking map. Don't you love that shit? Oh my god. Get his arms. Got him. I didn't him. have the instruction manual. Sorry. I didn't know what the fucking map button was. I hate that shit in old games. That's why new games just put it all in game. I got no repair. I never no. have the repair. Because I got to keep... Go, repair. It's oh, zero. Shit. I keep, uh, I, I'm going to miss this drop kick too right now. Boom. No, I got hey, it. Fuck yeah, hey. son. I didn't Dead. get the thing though. All right. no, I need to, but that's the thing. I, I, I need to get those parries to get the heal paste. Yeah. Okay. We're There's gonna probably scan. some around this room. Yeah, press up. We're going to scan. Yeah, there you go. I can knock these down? Yeah, so when you attack, my vision goggle goes off. That way you're not in, like, detective mode on Okay, item box. Wow. Man, detective mode really fucked up games for a while. There was, uh, I think, an interview with a guy who made Batman Arkham. What was the yeah. first one? Arkham Asylum? Yeah, I remember it. Yeah, and he, he basically said, like, yeah, I'm really disappointed because I, I watched, like, basically, like, on Xbox, uh, the analytics of how everyone is playing the game, and they're just always in detective mode and watching a 
wireframe of the game that we yeah. put all this beautiful texture and everything into and like people are not doing it even in metal gear 5 i feel like man i was really pounding uh the sonar a lot when i first played mm, yeah i was scared i was so scared of enemies i had the map so was I, man. the third the, the third party app on the, phone, on the yeah. phone and i have the map up and make sure put that shit on my ipad man. it's so good dude i did love that it was it was so fucking cool that it could even turn like a GPS when you're in your car. It knew where you were. Like the, there wasn't any communication at all. I thought that was so cool. And that's that, that that's one of the things that I loved about Metal Gear games is that they gave you a sense of immersion that was real to the game itself. Yeah. You know, in the same way that Nintendo does. I don't think that works anymore, and I'm super bummed. No, I don't think. Because that level of immersion to go through and play Ground Zeroes and yeah. Phantom Pain again with the big iPad map on my thigh. And it was just the iDroid, man. You had the it was so controls. sick, yeah. It, you, I, I could just look down at a glance and see uh-huh. a display of, of of all the scouted soldiers, you know, if, so I was, cool. if I was taking over a camp. More games should do shit like that. I mean, uh, yeah, it's you, weird. Know, you know what I saw today uh, or yesterday it was like a little like mock-up of they have them for like shmups on the switch but a little like dock where you hold the screen sideways sideways yeah yeah and and it was a mock-up of a ds game or a 3ds game and i'm like do that why didn't they use it like a dual screen that way i mean okay limit it to just handheld games why the fuck couldn't they do that who's you this know? motherfucker because that would have been really cool maybe the next one will. Uh, because the whole thing is Whoa. a touch screen. So. Hey yo. Okay, alright. Shit, I'm about to diz eye. Oh wait, all of a sudden I got oh I think I healed. Yeah, you killed something. Or no, I, I I pressed down. I thought I was out of it, but I got more. Hell yeah. Better keep I like running. This stage. This is good second stage. Or third stage. What do you mean? This is part of the game? Denver, yeah. Oh, uh, oh Denver. This, yeah, I guess it's like a globetrotter, this game. Uh-huh. They're all over. Boom! Give me that fucking health. Smash. The sombrero kind of awesomely hides his eyes in oh, this yeah. mode. This looks like a badass. <clears throat> I went to Denver for the first time on that second tour we did, the, the farewell tour. Yeah. It was the, the only green room that... As the name in, in, uh, implies, provided the green. Oh wow! They gave us like, I want to say like two, two kind, two different kinds of weed, like eighths, and then what? Yeah, and then like a rolling tray, a bunch of papers, like everything, lighters, oh. like everything you need, like down in the green room. Denver is like so legalized. Wow, well, I know, know but that's. It's been legal there forever. Oh, I just got to get this fucker down. That's yeah, how that's I do it. it. That's how we do. That's just crazy, you know? Like, I, I guess <laughs> yeah. that is going to start becoming a more I guess they thought, game. like, yo, yo, this is like a comedy show, you know? They don't know. They assume. They assume, they assume they were comedians with smoke. That's funny. I just, yeah. I, I don't know what happened. Out. I don't know. I didn't take it out, you know, on the van with me. But it wasn't in the green room when I left. I, I checked my gear. I checked my DJ gear, and it was gone. So I don't know what happened. I don't know, dog. We definitely didn't bring that shit in Canada. Kevin Blunt Chong. <laughs> Kevin Blunt Long. Jay even told us, like, hey, when we were driving into that Toronto show, that we did the first international show on that right. tour, right? He, he, he told us, like, all right, hey, seriously, guys, like, do not bring... Like, no one has anything in the van that I don't want to know about or need to know about. But seriously, there's nothing in the van for this night. We're leaving anything in the hotel. And it's like, Jay, what do you think we are? Dude. It's, it's all in our lungs. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> no, man, you know, it's a uh, it's very... Well, the guy in Canada thing. was... The Mountie was intimidating you know he's trying to be it's uh, a very dumb thing to get caught for so uh, and i'm sure canada don't canada don't with other people, fuck you know? around yeah well montreal i think it's legal oh yeah it's legal in a lot of different places in canada yeah, uh, so i don't think in toronto maybe 
Well, it's just I don't think they want you bringing it in from over across the border. Yeah. You got to have a uh, their laws to have it, you know. Otherwise, you got to pay their tax. Like uh, yeah, it's like it's a whole thing. They're yeah. big with that too, you know. It was a whole thing with merch coming in to yeah. sell. Oh fuck. Like merch we sold at that show in Toronto. It's like a whole no-no. You know, you got to claim it. Or you gotta have it printed in Canada and pick it up there. Did I fucking really miss? Yeah. Jesus. Also hit triangle. Jesus H. Christ. That one just broke. Is uh Jesus' middle name Henry? Why is it H? Is it really H? I think he shares the middle name with William H. Macy. Jesus and William H. Macy. That kind of tracks. I like I like William H. Macy. Come here, you fucking hammer time. Paul. Paul. Paul, like Paul is what you need right now. Paul. Jesus Hall? Yeah. What? Jesus Hall Christ. It's not Hall. Yeah, doesn't it make sense if it's Jesus Hall? Hall and Oates? What does that mean, the Jesus Hall? You know, like when you go into I don't... the sermon for the church, the Jesus Hall. It's not the Jesus Hall, it's a it's a church. Well, I mean, I mean you can hall. call it a hall, but not the Jesus well, Hall. Well, in like churches, that's what they call it. They call it like a You're hall. really stretching. No, that's what they call it. <laughs> it just happens to apply. Oh my god, this fucking guy, dude. <laughs> I have Zandatsu! He's fucking chest kicking you! Well, now he's in 40 <laughs> fucking pieces, you son of a bitch. Oh god. How do I. I can't parry anymore or what? You can. First you just have to wait till it's right about to. Yeah, no, I can button mash. I yeah, oh yeah, 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 there we go. Just hold the direction button mash. Give me that fucking arm. Yeah, what now? Well, he's still alive. So. What now? Nah, I'm just gonna make him anguish and suffer. Ooh. I like it. Let her rip. See that? That's my energy. There you go. That's Strike my zone. spinal fluid. Spinal tap. Yeah. Head for the next objective marker. No shit. No, no, no. Please, put that, no. Put that away. Put that away. Can we select something other than that? Yeah, you got grenades. Or you got a can. Whoa, whoa. Cans. Jam grenade, RP. Let's take the frag out. Electrolyte pack. We're out of health. All right, cool. And we're going this way. I'm not looking for upgrades or collectibles. We're going because I feel like there's a boss fight coming up. We've been going for a little... Oh, I remember this part of the stage. Oh, yeah. This long fucking... Ooh, I walked right into an RPG. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that my Blade Wolf? No, that's their Blade Wolf, huh? Take that. Get off! I'm gonna go back down here, slide right into home See, base. Then, yeah, when there's that blue around the screen, you can hit L1 or whatever the ninja mode is, and it goes straight into that. So when it's there's like a blue one, hit around the, the screen. Oh, like that perimeter? Yeah, like when you do the sidekick... Swap like that. Yeah. Then well, I can just go in like that. You see how easy that was? And then just do that. You do that to every character that they die, they die in two hits. That's too easy, Brian. Yeah. Well. You're telling me this is how easy this is. Slide with, kick. It works with way too many characters. You can He's all, dead. Yeah. Fuck him. Or at least you dismember them enough that they can't do shit. So you can just stay on top of them. Yeah. Go, where's this uh, wolf? You know. The wolfen. Come uh, here, I think hound. That might be your. Oh no. Come. You can, I gotta, think you can even use it on that guy. Got the chocolate bar in my pockets for poisoning. Yeah, Come here. You gotta parry him when he does that. You've been doing it good. Come here. Yeah, you've been doing it real good, boss. Yeah, you've been doing it good, boss. Yeah, you want me to hold your books for you, boss? <laughs> hey, you get want him. me to get you a milkshake? It's on me, of course. It's on me, of course. You want me to light your cigarette? Hey, what you doing lighting your own cigarette, boss? Hey, boss, let me help you there. Boss, she's no good for you. You don't deserve her, boss. Oh, come here, Blade Wolf. Got a lollipop for you. Strip you of your left leg. Do you remember the first time we did that? Say what? <laughs> this, that, boy, that voice back and forth to each other. It was at Anime Expo, like, wow. the first year we ever worked <laughs> it. Uh, like, I had, like, had a booth rather than just go there for a uh, panel. Because we used to go there for a panel. We like, used to well always... Uh, yeah, yeah. We, we never had a booth. We only we had a booth there in 20... 14, I think. Yeah, there were a lot of years where we were there as uh, just entertainers, but uh, then we started selling. Yeah. It was one of the first times we went to uh, that 
like have uh, that big Korean barbecue, you know, like all you oh, can eat. Oh, I love it. And we were waiting, and I think like you and I were just standing out there, and I like, I don't know, we were doing something, I said something weird, and then we started doing that back and forth. Dude, I can't get this to fucking yeah, go. Yeah, boss, yeah, no. Yeah, you want me yeah. to get him? I'll take him down. I'll take him down, see? What is yeah, that? Boss, it's like a, like a it's James Cagney, right? It, it's yeah, it's a little of that. It's an actor that used to be in those gangster movies. It's a little bit also a little lackey kid from yeah. fucking Boy Meets World who like the you know the bully, the little guy. You want me to do that for you, Javi? What do you want? Oh, uh, you want me to shine your shoes? Hey, anything you want. Oh no, you're always right. You're always right. But that kind of like just crony, I think it's such a shit funny again. character. So I, I don't know. We started doing that. I don't know why we picked up on doing it. Get yeah, this, I remember, motherfucker. I remember you and I sat next to each other and we ate so much fucking food that Bro. we were the last people eating and they were like... Korean barbecue is always a, a, an anime expo staple. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I I did enjoy uh, a new meat we had not gotten before. Oh. And I still don't know what it was. It was like a mystery because we ordered, you know, the usuals. But then there was something new that night, and it was like, what is? I've never had this before. No, no, no. It was like a thicker pork. And it was like, oh. it was like nice and spicy. Okay. But it wasn't bulgogi. It wasn't it that flavor. Oh, it was, no, and it wasn't, the, it wasn't the pork belly, you know? Like, we got that too. I don't know. We couldn't figure it out by the end of the night, but everyone was like, yo, this new shit was hype. Huh. Okay, cool. Uh,. Yeah, and I had just gone here in San Diego, too. I've been hitting Korean barbecue a lot lately. Yeah, I want to go back. I, I got some uh, bulgogi from the store and tried to do it on my stovetop. but it, uh, wasting it. It's, uh, yeah, honestly, it's not the same. It's no, it's not the same. No, I'm wasting my power here. I was talking about you. I Where know. is this uh, fucking lock-on? felt like... We should go. I found a place I like here that's... Uh, you serve yourself. Oh. Because my, you know... Hunger is is it knows no bounds. Yeah, and uh, sometimes If you've been there long enough, they'll slow down on bringing the plates by yeah. on purpose yeah, yeah. So I like this place because you get up you just get whatever you want. I want Kobe. I want this like okay Pick that up pick that up pick that up and then like go cook it and I want more okay go back at different stuff oh, Okay, go back cool. you you self-serve which I I really I like that a lot more. The place that I liked, I think, just closed sometimes, down. Sometimes, if you order, like, three meats at a time, right? Yeah. Maybe I wanted, like, just one piece of one of them to try. Yeah. You could do that at this place. Oh. So you literally get one of everything. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll definitely. But you I can't, mean, yeah, you can't get one of everything if you go with, like, a regular place. You'd yeah. have to order so much. Yeah, but that's fine. Because, honestly, there's, uh, what I realize is I'm, like, there's, like, he hacked the system. Uh, there's like only a handful of things that I honestly really want when I'm there. And it's always like the beef Spicy bulgogi. bulgogi. Yeah. The, it's all the beef stuff that cooks pretty quickly anyways. Getting the chicken is cool, whatever. Nah. It's not worth the wait to cook it. Like I've ha I can make better chicken at home. I've had better chicken. It's better to go out and just get, uh, you pork know. Pork belly's good and small. Yes. Oh, yeah, I only need like one yeah. pork belly to like my three I bulgogi or my... Uh, What's yeah. just the thin beef? Stick to beef and pork, and it cooks all. Pretty well, what fast. is that called? Nice What's that? The the shabu shabu yeah. beef, just yeah, the yeah. thinly sliced stuff. Ooh, that's good with the with the sesame oil oh. and the fucking salt. And the salt. Man. Now, no one can answer me this. Sesame is a seed oil because yeah. it's from sesame seeds, right? Yeah. Is that bad now? <laughs> We're not supposed to eat seed oils, is what I heard. No, there's nothing there wrong with any oil. Just, well, that's not true. Fat. That's definitely not true. Oh, don't they say you're supposed to drink olive oil? What the fuck? Olive oil is one of the safer ones. Yeah. Uh, one of the safe ones, I should say. But no, they're finding all this shit about how they uh, express the oil from the seeds. Oh. And all, all, all these uh, are, are like laced with whatever they use to fucking extract the oil, like chemicals and stuff. Or, I don't know. It's, no. it's not good is what I heard. Nah, no, they're just trying to get you scared. Who's they? Is this a Joe Rogan podcast? No, you know. People want to sell you some fucking product that says all safe. And it's like well, I was already dollars. using, like, coconut oil and olive oil and avocado oil primarily. That's what I use. And ghee. Yeah. Which is just clarified butter. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're doing good, man. You're healthy. News is trying to but, scare you. But I'm hitting deep sesame oil when I curry and barbecue it up, you know? Yeah. And I've been doing the shabu shabu at home because I buy that, that beef from Costco. Oh, nice. Very nice. Oh. Can we take them? No, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're only doing it when you're going out to Korean barbecue, which you're probably not doing every week. Yeah. And even if you are, it's like once a week ain't too bad. And Plus it you're it, out. It's all related to Metal Gear because you remember Skullface, his family was being accused of smuggling weapons in their village's rapeseed oil factory. That was right. that was what they used to call, I think, safflower oil or something else. They used to call it rapeseed. It's a really funny name. And uh, they lit it on fire, and that's how Skullface got all burned, because they were manufacturing weapons. Oh. It was a front. They shouldn't have been doing that. Yeah. Boom. Is something the matter, Raiden? But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to. I don't, I don't know what to think about the seed oils. Is that like uh, Alex Jones, like tinfoil hat kind of shit, or is it really like? Because I see health influencers talking about this on like social media and stuff. Those people, I feel like, are just fear mongering. I really do. Because then they have the solution for you. They're always uh, like, "Well, here's the. Well, here's what not, you do instead." Yeah, eat real meat and uh, well, yeah, I mean, take my supplements. That That's where you got to be careful because everyone's trying to sell something, right? That's, that's what I mean. It's just like... It, it, some of but they're not like, trying to sell you olive oil. They're just saying like... These are like... I should say not... They're like fitness and health influencer accounts that uh, like... Because we talk about lifting weights and wrestling and exercise and all this shit. Like my feed's all full of weird stuff now. So I get weightlifting stuff. I get bodybuilding stuff, wrestling stuff. And then every once in a while, I get, like, health stuff about, like, food and diet and uh, that type of, of exercise. Yeah. And those people, I think, are genuinely just cer certain ones are like, just looking out for, like, hey, here's how to eat healthy, eat clean. Yeah. Stay away from these types of foods. They lower your testosterone or they do this or whatever. They contribute to. Now, there's certain things where it's, like. Yo, I've heard, I'm not believing the guy that's like, don't wear polyester blends because microplastics are leaching into your balls from your boxer yeah. briefs. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, really? I don't know. Leaching it. Plastic me up, bro. I'm just going to last longer. That's it might cool. also be one of those things like, uh, like Vera in the chat is saying, like, sometimes, it, yeah, maybe the See, process is weird but it's that's what i'm hearing small but negligible and negligible amount you but know? vera assure is saying what i've been hearing too it's because of the extraction process yeah they use chemical compounds in the extraction process to chemically extract a drip of fucking oil from like a tiny little seed right yeah so they do this with so many little tiny little seeds and so many tiny little drops of oil but that chemical residue micro particles build up because we're talking about little 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 bits of oil we're getting from a fucking little seed yeah and over the collection of this product like it builds up and and, and can fuck human beings up is what i've heard mm. it's this but it's chemical that that's riding along in our seed oils i see or because of the way they extract it I'm sure. I'm sure that's one of those things. If you could get it pure, like they just smash it with a fucking hammer, right? Right. Back in the day when they were making small batches of this shit in Italy. Yeah. Right. Caesar and the fucking Romans are pounding fucking hammers against the fucking aqueduct or whatever the fuck they were inventing. <laughs> and, I, and I'm sure. I bet it. Yeah, I bet it was safe. But now we're going like, oh, let's stick fucking butane in here and freeze the fucking thing, and then we'll do this to it, and then we'll. You know, and, and and that's that's where it's like, oh yeah, fucking, are we finding out what this shit does? Thirty years later, when everyone has celiac disease or cancer or something. Well, I mean, you know, we never we never really like understand what anything does long no. term, and each person is, is different, right? Because there are people who cannot tolerate milk at all. No, and no. There's a spectrum. You know? What am I? Am I like fucked up? Yeah, you're like uh, distraught. I'm like BMI'd. So I I just think that I think the biggest thing when it comes to all of these food things is that there's a lot of warnings on. <laughs> uh, on the extreme side of it. Yes. Because there are some people who extreme do... Extreme being what Campy Mish just uh, posted in the IRL chat. 
y- yeah. Seed oil equals fox dye equals exactly. cancer. Whether it's uh, whether it's I love an that. extreme of thought or it's an extreme of consumption, like those people who drink like magnesium or whatever because they've heard like colloidal you know, silver. Yeah, turn, that, that, Papa that Smurf. That colloidal, that. Yeah, that motherfucker. Like, who, and now they're permanently blue. And yeah, shit yeah, like yeah. That. Like that kind of stuff where it's clearly they're poisoning themselves because they're drinking a. Well, there's just no. It's a pseudoscience that. It, yeah. It has a, a, a side effect that you think is, is, is healthy. And, and I think that's kind of what happens with, with health and health uh, advice, oh God, too, where, dude. where it's like, hey, if you do a lot a lot of this, like if you base your entire thing off of just these oils because you've heard they're good, this stuff can build up and it could cause you problems down the line. So what you should do is continue to keep it in a small amount rather than basing your whole diet. Because a lot of people will take these... Uh, um, Food fads and, and 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 treat them as gospel in a way that's like can't shoot a missile. Okay. Really, uh, yeah, kind of just gotta get beat up here. Um, that's really unhealthy. You know, they treat it like very rigid and uh, and they don't they don't give it the right amount of like oh include some of these because it's helpful as part of a rounded diet. Like you're not eating irresponsibly in any stretch of the imagination because like. No, 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 but I, I think it's just good to avoid, you know, I, I found out, I don't know, some point in my 20s, like, expired oil, rancid oil, yeah. can cause fucking cancer yeah. if consumed. Like, even healthy, regular oils, like olive oil or something like this, if you just let it get old and bad, it oxidizes and does fucked up stuff inside your body. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's just, you know, something that I wouldn't fucking think of. I've probably... When I was in my 20s, kept the same vegetable oil bottle that I used once every six months <laughs> in my kitchen for eight years, you know? And then yeah. someone told me, like, yo, this doesn't smell good. You shouldn't cook with this. And I was like, why? No, and then, and then no. I, and they're like, you know, you gotta go let me school you on this. I always, I always really feel like that rule is one of the best. Like, really, smell anything. Smell test. And if it, like... Am I just supposed to wander to this fucking goal? Uh-huh. You can oh. get kind of fucking... What, what was the news I got? Like, I don't remember this part of the story. <laughs> I think it's sort of like the realization of, like, how, like, you're fucked up. Like, I'm killing everyone. Yeah. Jack, get over it. But, yeah, I mean, again, it's like the, the best thing to, to do is to educate yourself on what's good for you and your body because everybody's body is different. And, like, that's, you know, what works for Garrett isn't going to necessarily work for you. What works for me isn't going to work for Garrett. And, and, the best thing in general is to just keep a, uh, a a good balance of what you eat. I mean, I don't do it perfectly all the time, Fuck but no. trying to maintain that balance is is better than living with none. Like I used. But to I think there's some. I think there's something to the seed oil thing. Like I don't. I, I don't think, I don't right. think it's a. I, right. I don't think it's bad to avoid. Av- I, I would. I wouldn't say like you can't eat it. Right. You know. I would just avoid it if you yeah. can. Yeah, which uh, st- stuff like they're finding out, you know, there's problems with seed oils. There's problems with uh, burning your meat. Uh-huh. Um, that that's just that's just you know nothing wrong with the meat itself, but like certain ways you cook it. Oh wow, what's happening? Oh, you, you got you no just get your ass got here. no recovery. Oh, I do just have to yeah. get my ass kicked. Okay. Yeah, um, like really mad. Yeah, you don't want to like char the fucking edge of your steak and eat that shit because it's a carcinogen. Uh, they're finding out, and then uh, you know, like it's kind of obvious now. Like sugar is just a great fun little drug, isn't it? That oh. we hook all children on from a very young age. Really, is like the first drug if you think about it. A little bit, yeah. I mean, when we were young, it was like I just want sugar. Bro, give me that Halloween candy. Give me that whole bag. That was my favorite time of the year. You know, it was just like. Sugar was the first thing I learned to save my allowance for so I could go buy at the 7-Eleven on Saturday morning with my comic books. Oh, fuck yeah. Boss fight. This is why I wanted to get to a new boss fight. But but now in my life, it's like, you know, it's pretty easy for me to avoid, like I'm learning about the seed oil thing like now, like this year is the first time I ever heard about that, which I wasn't really eating a lot of it anyway. That's what I mean. Um... And I've been trying to, like, stay the fuck away from sugar as best I can, but it's in everything. So just just having a dip of fucking ketchup in my French fry, oh, if, if I happen to have some fries, it's like, oh, yeah, like, you don't, 
you're, you're getting sugar there. So it's like, I'm not going out of my way to, like, buy candy in my fucking 40s like I did in my 20s, bro. So what? Yeah. Every once in a while, though, you gotta have a cheat day, a little candy dinner never hurt no one. Yeah, like, I like to have a little bit of candy in there every once in a while. I'll do, I'll do like, you know, it's like, for instance, today I'm, like, uh, been, been working out, it's been hot, it's been good. Like, I've been getting Ugh. good workouts in recently. Um, you know, I actually, I think I did well having a little time off because I've gained some weight, which is, I think... I have trouble gaining the weight when I'm eating so much because I'm working out. I'm overtraining. Mm -hmm. Didn't work out all AX, but still ate like a fucking horse. And I yeah. think uh, I think that helped bulk a little. I, uh, so now I'm getting back. I definitely. Have, have so been, you went hard all week. I've been well. No, I've just been going harder on the workouts, trying to like you know after we talked. Which like, is heavier. A little heavier. Yeah. Um, I, I I also stopped doing. I realized originally I was doing drop sets because I was trying to work towards doing pyramids. Oh, okay. Um, which, Ugh, I hate pyramids. Uh, which right now I don't think I need to be doing. I think I'll, it's I, just I the to... math I hate, keeping track of, wait, what are we on? Yeah, and, and, and that's why I wanted to like work my way up to it, but I realized I'm not at that point yet. When, when I need to do pyramids is when the weight I'm at is the max weight that I can do. For oh, when you've hit a plateau. Ex well, yeah, yeah, or when the weights that I have no longer are sufficient for you know the, the heaviness. Yeah, um, when you need to buy new weights. Yeah, when oh, I'm able to, do, gotcha. when I'm yeah, able to yeah. do like the 20 sets on the max amount of weights for everything, which I'll probably never get 20 to. 20 reps. Uh, yeah, 20 reps, sorry. Because uh, that's my goal. Eventually is to do like 20 reps for everything. Right now I'm just starting at 10. Get to 10 if I can go over that good for each series of three. But since you and I talk, I just keep, I keep the weight static now instead of going down. Each, it's good, yeah, yeah. Each, uh, each set. Um, and then, yeah, I still am able to get, like, ultimately, I'm for that one movement, I'm, I'm ending up doing somewhere around, like, 60 exercises for that one, or 60 movements for that one exercise. So if I'm doing, like, bench press, I'm able to actually do that with more weight now. So I'm Brother. feeling that fucking, like, coming in with that good sore. Getting that heavier weight yeah. will definitely uh, help with the hypertrophy, which is, I think, what we're looking for, right? Building oh, yeah. a bigger muscle. Yeah. Brother! Taking in as much fucking protein Sculpting that bicep. I mean, yeah, everyone did give me compliments on that picture with her car Dude, she huge. But uh, I, I don't notice it in the, in the arms, because uh, arms are so fun to do, man. They are, I know. Like I, There's so many different variations I can throw a kettlebell around and, and get a good pump. I just yeah. incorporate arms. I, I'm I talking like every workout. I throw, I, I've been throwing so much upper body. Uh, and, you know, the only time I really fuck with legs, honestly, is when I walk the dog. I, 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 I do squats while I'm wearing the weight vest. Yeah. You know, we walk like one or two miles. You know, maybe I do like I young that 100 squats nice. over the course of the thing. Just the two, three miles with that 45 pounds on is enough to like wear me the fuck out. Dude, we were doing My knees don't hurt anymore. When I first started doing it, I just realized like, you know, your body's not used to having 45 pounds beating down on the joints every time you fucking step. And I was trying to run and jog and shit in it and chase the dog. I was running downhill with the fucking dog going, oh, don't eat shit. Don't roll your ankle. Oh, fuck. Yeah, dude. Because, yeah, I realized, well, yeah, my knees. I started getting pain that I had never experienced before. Not not pain, I should say. I felt this little tension in the top right here behind the kneecap. Behind the kneecap, I would just, I would feel a little tension on certain, when I get my knee, my knees away from my body and away from the center of gravity, like out from under my shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> when I was at a further out angle, I would just feel a little tension under the kneecap there. And I just went, ooh, that's new. And I think it was just, yeah, like, yeah, you just threw, it's like if you gained 45 pounds overnight and now you're going to run. Yeah. Your, your, your ankle and your leg aren't ready for that yet. In nature, that would have happened slowly over the course of whatever it takes to gain 45 pounds. Uh-oh. Jack is coming out, baby. This looks like that game... Uh, remember that black and white game for the Wii where it was super violent? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's called Madness? No. This is Madness. Fuck, what was that? My was that a platinum game? 
Mad World. Mad it was World. A Sega game. It was a Sega game. Yeah. yeah. It might have been a pre-platinum game because they were originally Mad part of Sega. Mad World. And that was a time where it was like, hey, we're getting the first ultra-violent games on the Nintendo. Was that a GameCube game? That was a Wii, Wii game. game. Okay. So you had your Resident Evils and stuff like that, but it was like monster violence. Mad World was like, yo, you're you're killing humans, right? They were like inmates and shit. Did we go I, down? Yeah, we're down on Twitch. We are, are we? So I clicked on Twitch. Yeah, you're on Twitch. I'll take this. I guess I'll click it on and off. Are we just listening to that or do we check? I check. No. Okay, cool. That's, I always check more. Thank you. Thank you. We're restarting the Twitch stream. Thank you for sticking with us. Recording is still going, so this will be one file. Yeah, that's the good part. Oh yeah. For the archive. Now you're just being nasty. Oh. Should be coming back soon enough. But yeah. Um. Oh, Jack's about to start this fucking fight off. Yeah, this scene is always really cool. It's like Jack turns off his pain inhibitor so they can go like turbo Jack mode. He can become Jack the Ripper. Yeah, okay, we're back. I love... Uh, thank you for that. We're back, everyone. Pervert. We're back, perverts. <laughs> I do love this boss, uh, Monsoon. His character yeah. design and everything that he could split apart from me. Like, it's so perfect. Yeah, as a counter. Thought, I always thought that that was such a cool concept. That yeah. They took where I mean, yeah, if they're if really all the thing that matters is, is their brain, then yeah, why would he need to have? He he's basically like magnetic, so like I can't hurt him. Yeah. Wow. I have so to... this is Perry Heaven. You yeah. Get Perry. Yep. There you go. I gotta wait for it. Yeah. And then you can carry that. Spam too. is the spam mode doesn't really work sometimes. Yeah. You kind of have to. Uh, oh, and I got no health. Well done. That worked. Yeah. Make, make sure you're Locked in. Oh, there we go. Because he'll go off screen. Yeah, he. this motherfucker definitely. Hey. Fresh, you, can hear us, but don't see us. you have earned a trophy. Oh, with the hey. fucking Raphael size, what bro. What doesn't kill you makes you strong. Ouch. I lost myself. Damn, dog. All right, we got this. Perry Heaven. Speaking of heaven, we've got callers. We do. Join us for the Heavenly Discord. Heaven. And the Heavenly Discourse we're about to have with... TPG. TPG. Oh. That player oh, game. Oh, Back in. What's up? Hey, guys. I wasn't expecting to be called in. I was having a good conversation in the waiting room. What's up? What's Not up? Much, dude. We're going to try to get to everyone in the waiting room as well. We're going to yeah. go we're going to go rapid fire cuz we are at the boss fight here that we'll yes, probably sir. end with. And we are at the two Well, wow. We're, we're past, past two, past baby. Two Holy shit. Well, doggy, what's up? Yeah, how you doing? Uh just nothing much. Uh just uh ate a hot dog, uh, watching <laughs> a little bit. Had a glizzy? Now oh, I yeah. I had one of one of the other anime expo favorites. Oh, street dog. The street dog out front, bacon wrapped with the fucking hot bell pepper and onions, Ooh. grilled okay. to perfection. Everything on it. Everything on even the ketchup, the mustard. Everything. You got it, relish. I got relish. relish. You gotta get the relish. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding it's me right now? You gotta yeah. get the relish. If it's a dog, if it's in a bun. And it's a sausage or a dog. We got it's, to a phase. It's everything on there, man. If they got whatever out there, you get a little sauerkraut. You put it underneath. I like the little sauerkraut bed. You got to put that ketchup on one side, mustard on the other side, relish on top, onions all over the motherfucker. All over, everywhere. God you get damn. the shits? No. no way, dude. Was it bad? No. Never. Dysentery? Never. Good stuff. You gotta, you gotta just fucking trust the process, man. Yeah, the the, yeah, one time. the street dogs. You, you know, some people are scared of the 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 vendors. That's not how that's not how you roll, bro. You can't have any fear because fear is the mind killer, as they say. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh shit! I wasted that, Brian. Yeah. Well, that's okay. You don't really need it. I would heal though because you might. I don't have. Oh, I do so have. You some. picked him up when you attacked the. Uh, Thank God. Trance. That's how you get help back. Thank goodness. Well, yeah, dude. I'm glad you uh you got yourself a nice little uh dinner. Yeah, you had the burger. Yes. Yeah. Really quick, dirt. want to say one thing? Yeah. Um, I got the Master Collection. I've been kind of watching. Oh, very cool. Which has been sweet. Um, 
and I got to an episode in version two for the first time where you lit yourself on fire. Yes, I did. That was very enjoyable to watch. Cool. Yeah, yeah that was one of the bigger, uh, you know, it's not the biggest burn I've done, but that was one of the bigger ones. Uh, was that one of your first times doing that? What's that? Time? Was that one of the first times you did that? Um, I'm trying like, to think. Trying to no. Out, I have to what? Oh yeah. Maybe that's later on the fight. My bad. I I uh I think I lit myself on fire quite a few times, not even on camera. When I was fucking around with my friends like skateboarding in the back, Crispy's house. But uh, yeah, that was uh that was a big production version. I think we did some other cool like arm burns inside the studio. That got pretty big once. Then there was the big old full body burn for that little fucker movie that never came out. But we showed that footage on the PPS once. Oh, we few, did. A few years ago. Like I, I should do that again. Yeah, I would love to see that. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah. I do uh, I, I do want to get to the rest of the callers, so let's give them a chance. Yeah, sure. And thank you for picking up the Master Collection on Absolutely. sale now. At it's Mega64.com. So Hell yeah. Soon. Nice. Hell yeah, All right, guys. brother. I'll see you. Call right. back in, let us know what you think about it. Before we get to our next Will call, do. though, Brian, I want to say pause. Pause the game. I want to see uh, if I can go to get the plugs out because we didn't even do that yet. I know. And you got to get the plugs in. Got to get them out, baby. And they're loud today. They are so loud. They are so yes. hot. Hello. Ooh. Okay, hot mic. And you know what we need? We need a little more delay. Just a bit more. Just a bit. I want it to sound like I, uh, oh, that, that works. Okay, great. great. Okay, Brian. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Mega64 on Twitter. This is where you're gonna get all the updates. We're coming out to San Diego Comic Con, July 20th. Excuse That's me. That's MGS Con. That's MGS Con. Hey, hey. Get it right. See, I'm so sorry, Brian. <laughs> hey, it's all right. Hey, hey. We're coming out to MGS Con. It's sold out, baby. Damn, but you can damn. still attend virtually. Stream the thing from home. Check out MGSCon.com for more details. But we are coming Saturday, July 20th to the Hilton Long Beach. I am securing some vintage Mega64 costumes to display. If you came out to Anime Expo, maybe you took a photo with Piccolo from our Dragon Ball Z in five minutes. Well, that was a nice little test run because I really came up with this plan for MGS Con. We're gonna have two mannequins dressed with classic Metal Gear Solid costumes from the long, long past, as well as maybe a more recent release. Maybe. I've got multiple photo ops for our area at MGS Con. I'm bringing out so much cool shit that we've saved. So come by, because there's definitely gonna be uh, a chance to hang out with us, a chance to take photos with some stuff that you may have seen online over the years. And here we are, the 26th through the 28th at San Diego Comic Con International, baby, right after MGS Con. Back to back. Back to back, we never stop. We're gonna be selling that master collection in person. We're gonna be signing stuff. If you are coming to the San Diego Comic Con, that's your best chance to get everyone's signature. People come by Anime Expo, they're like, how do I get Derek's signature? I haven't seen Derek in years. They say, where's Sean? I said, he only he was here Saturday, he left. He said, he come out for the panel. Where can I get their signature, though? I have Rocco's signature. I have your signature from last year on this. I have Kevin. But I can't get the other boys. <laughs> San Diego Comic Con. I don't care how you have to get in. Speak the fuck in, right? That's right. Come and get it. 
the only place that if you come to our booth at separate times throughout the weekend, you can find Rocco or Darth Icky in this case. You can find Derek, you can find Sean, you can find me, you can find it all, and you can get that collection that you've been looking for. Come on out to San Diego. Come on out to Comic Con. What they say it's sold out. I don't care. Show up anyway. Yeah, figure it out. Uh, like I said, we are going live at noon tomorrow. Look at that fucking hat. Our schedule is once all over the place. Yeah, what the hell is Sean wearing? Live Friday. That's a Cyber Monday shirt. No, the hat. That's a Canucks hat. Oh. Vancouver Canucks, eh? Yeah, what the fuck kind of hat is that? Stanley like Cup, you're, you're Stanley right. Cup champions, eh? Oh. I don't know who won, actually. But, uh, okay, I wasn't breaking the news. Well, maybe I was, this was an hour ago. One hour ago. I said it first, guys. You heard it here first. We are having a podcast. We're gonna recap all of Anime Expo this Friday. Tune in at noon. The Chroma Collection. Also going on sale. Also featured in person at our booth this Comic Con. I need to give me one of those. Guys, it's time for a new video. Cosplayers Absolute Disgrace has been released. Oh. You've not seen anything until you see what we premiered at Anime Expo this last week. It's now on YouTube for you. Brian, should we have a... Should we cut the music. Should we have a, a cosplayer's viewing? Yeah. Let's get us in the mood. Yeah. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. I don't know what conflict Darth Icky had with Grandma's pizzas, but the pies were never the same. It was terrifying. Just when all hope was gone, someone saved us. A brave warrior. <laughs> I owe my life to Patches. <laughs> Speaking of detective mode.
Thank you, Brian. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in today. This has been the Poorly Played Stream. We'll play more Metal Gear Rising next week Woo! after we see ya. Later. No. No. Discord calls, Brian. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump into the waiting room and talk to him in person. Stick around, guys. Oh gosh. We'll see you next week. See, oh. have a good. Oh. Have a good weekend, man. Oh. oh, shit. I'll talk to you guys in the waiting room. Don't, don't go nowhere.